Hello, and welcome to Ouroboros Coils of the Serpent. We are Detect Nerd, and we occasionally roll dice together, and it's fun for everybody. Or else. Or else. Or else. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen, but or we're else. Definitely, we're definitely having fun. We, we have no fun here. So last time, the four of you started uh, in the underbelly. You met up with the gnome sill uh that wobbles and uh who's uh sets up a fight for merit uh and then rabble and sierra as a team merit known as dune walker uh encountered and easily defeated red knuckle the dwarf uh rabble and sierra now known as bruise brothers rabble rousers super normal name uh defeated grumpy and grouch the annihilators good name uh gary finds grand Kier, uh your old friend the closet uh office dwarf uh that works for rebel inc um at drunk at the bar uh where he discusses his friend rabar not rabble i did a bad there rabar being falsely accused for the headless charioteer mithril mithril excuse me uh he's being held behind at bars at the conservers post in heritage court in uptown after some butt shenanigans, you <laughs> you head back to Red Roads Inn to chill before heading to the White Palms. Rebel has his bath for the first time this week. Um, and uh, <laughs> that evening, you meet with Salah Tajad at his home. You discover his like family situation. Uh, him and Sira have some things in common like uh, dead spouses and oh, me too <laughs> really really focused down. <laughs> really just really just clap them on the back and it's all good i have one too um uh yeah his son duncan uh is boarding with the arcanimus academy and like i said his, his husband yorish passed away a while ago you also discovered that you've actually met his son before uh, he was one of the students that created the commotion with the apparition over at the academy. Um, Sala asks to hire you uh, as security for himself during the Shifting Sands Ball uh, for the Revel in Kairos, which is tomorrow night, uh, the sixth day after the last Colosseum fight. It is about, uh, right now, it's about three hours after the Shining Hour, so like 10, 10 p.m., uh, you are in Old Town, walking through the empty sand markets. Uh, the night is young for some folks here, though. There are small pubs and taverns, warmly lit, with um, uh, laughter, and you can hear rambunctious chatter. And Rabble has just barely noticed someone possibly following the group. And that's where we are now. All right, so nobody look. So don't don't. No, 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 don't, don't look. <laughs> Might be someone following us. Do we know who he is? Who they are? No, I... If I knew that, I would just say, you know, who, who, who's they were. How do we know that they're following us and not just walking in the same direction? He's got a way about him. You know, they're like, you're... I guess have has have I seen this person like follow? You've us noticed or, it like, for uh, you kind of like once you do your little perception check of fifteen, you're like, I feel like this person has been kind of trailing behind us for just a little bit tonight. Yeah, I feel like it's been they've been following us long enough to where it's become kind of a pattern. Mm -hmm. Maybe we shouldn't head back to the hotel quite yet. Maybe dip down an alley or something and see if they continue to follow us. Sure, maybe set up some sort of ambush. Okay, so you walk. So you're walking through the sand markets. You pass a bar, um, called Dirty Murphy's, and there's like an out. What? Dirty Murph. Dirty Murph. <laughs> Dirt Murph. Um. Yeah, and you're walking. Do you guys want to do like a stealth? Are you trying to be stealthy? Or a performance? Like we. Like it's normal. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think we're trying to like okay. duck out of his way. I think we're trying to maybe. Act like we don't notice him and we're just normally going to walk yeah, into the shady see. alley. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Give me a um, performance check, everybody. Once group performance check. Once we're in the alley, could I do a stealth check? Mm hmm Okay. <clears throat> it's an 11. 
res respectable. Mm. Above average. This is a group performance check, so. <laughs> What'd you get, buddy? Nine. Okay. Seventeen. Okay. I got a ten. Oh no. Okay, so. How about this alley up here? We're going to go into. Oh, yeah, this looks like a lovely alley. A normal alley. Do I... Sort of go hang out in like normal people do. Uh, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't know why we got to announce it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to offer myself up as bait. And then okay. uh, I'm going to pull the old lady card. Okay. And, what, are you, what, uh, what are you doing to do that? What's your performance? I'm just going to kind of trip over like one of the cobblestones uh and then exclaim quite i mean not loudly not obviously loud but uh just oh 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 and then i'm gonna kind of start hobbling let's just leave out and keep on going uh, with you yeah do you uh i, I mean, mean it's fine if you do i mean the alternative is you could hang out and we could slow down and potentially encounter him. That was oh, I was thinking, oh, but okay. also that's out of game. <laughs> I you thought you were trying to you, to you do come help you, but yeah, Okay, so as like we, here, let me do a little. We can't leave grandma. <laughs> okay. Uh you do that. Are you guys ducking into the alleyway? I don't think I know what your motivation is, so I'm just gonna think you really tripped. Okay, because yeah, so I'm gonna say this. There are uh since you're walking by this bar, there are a lot of people like outside. And um they they're like, Oh no, are you okay? Ma'am Ma'am, are you okay? Let me help you. Here, sit down. Would you like a glass of water? You oh, know, oh yes, please. For your frail old bones. Dang, and then they, they they sit you on a like a little bench outside, and um, can, someone runs in to go get you water. Can I roll a perception check on the, seeing this guy yes. and what he ends up doing? Uh, that would be a seventeen. Okay, as as this commotion is happening, um, you, I mean, you didn't point out the person though, right? Mm, correct. Mm -hmm. You said they don't look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, yep. So you, um, what was your perception? Seventeen. I mean, are they are they a, a, a cloaked figure? Yeah, you would you know, when when you look this this person is very tall and burly, but also cloaked and dark. So you're, it's kind of hard to use. So I might not. I don't know. think you'd notice. Okay. Considering you don't know who you're looking for, you'd be way higher. During, during this commotion, can I use that as a window to maybe stealth up behind this person? Yeah. Go ahead and give me, um, give me a perception and stealth, because uh, you turned your back and walked away from this person, so you don't really know where they are. Would it be fair while that's going on and she's getting, yeah. they're getting seated? Are you sure it'd be fair? Uh, to, to, you could communicate to us that like this is a ruse in this period of time, like through glances and gestures. Because we'd be like, oh, we need to help you. And you'd be like, no, nah, it's all right. Right? Right. Okay. Uh, I got a 19 perception. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting my character sheet. Also, she, probably. Okay. And she's a granny. Okay. So with your 90 perception, um, this person, as you guys started walking away from them and all this commotion starts to happen and you're turning and, and trying to look, what, did you do a stealth yet? No, uh, mm -mm, Ravel, come on. I definitely have to find my character sheet make sure there he is. Uh... So with my stealth, it's 12. Okay, not the stealthiest. Um, let me... I'm like walking up the sides of buildings in broad daylight. Uh, should have had this stealth. It's uh... nighttime. It is, yeah. It is nighttime. Um, but, uh, so as you, um... Uh, as you look with your 19 perception check, you can see that this, this tall, burly, cloaked figure starts to duck behind um, a bigger crowd. Like, uh, so you guys are outside of this bar. There's this alleyway, right? Um, and there's just a bunch of people hanging out and smoking and talking. He ducks into this crowd and kind of tries to uh, like blend in. to blend in and starts to go down the alleyway. And he does notice you looking at him because you're still he noticed where you were. Um, and so he is ducking down the alleyway, and he is walking away from it. What do you do? <clears throat> With your 19 perception, you can tell he's heading towards, uh, there's a bunch of crates in this alleyway and a barrel, and he kind of disappears behind a pile of crates and 
uh, I'm going to make a series of hand gestures that they might not understand, but I'm going to try and communicate non-verbally that uh, I'm going to pursue All right. this person. So it's All mostly just Ravel doing this and then pointing <laughs> towards the alley. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll follow Ravel. Yeah, okay. at this point, we know that Tyr is okay, and so we see what you're doing. Okay, um, give me one more perception check. Everybody, I'm going to finish my water and then I'll follow. Okay. <laughs> 15. Okay. Uh, 16. Okay. You said perception? Yeah. 13. Um, what did you get? Six. Oof, baby. Uh, Merritt and Gary hear a, like, um, kind of a metal clunk noise behind the crates as you're walking towards it. Like a clunk. Yeah, I don't know. It's like something like metal hooding, and it's, yeah, it's a clunk. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll come around the side of the, the crates. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, give me, and you don't have dark vision, right? Did, did, no. was Sirius served a glass or a bottle of water? A glass. What? Why? Why does can that I, matter? Can I, can I take your glass? Uh, I'm going to give. Do I know where this guy is, or did I? I didn't see him going down the crates and barrels. Rabbled it. Right? Yeah, right. But you did hear it. You heard. Him. So as Merritt walks around the crates, there is. Um, you don't have dark vision, but. Um, no. It's pretty obvious. Give me a. Um, but I do have like my mind, so like I'm aware of things within yeah, the five sure. feet radius. Yeah, sure. Uh, me. you d within a five feet radius, you don't see anyone. Or okay. feeling one. Okay. Uh, give me an investigation check with disadvantage. Okay. All of us? Or if you're all that? following, yes. Yeah. I don't know what. You are you all following, man? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, we were, we're we're going to the alley. And Sierra, you have dark vision now. Everyone, you have dark vision. Three. Nine. Oh my gosh. You said perception with disadvantage. <laughs> uh, investigation. investigation or investigation or perception. Whatever is better. Would she have disadvantage? Uh, she have dark you advantage. don't have disadvantage. I'm sorry. Oh, just kidding. Uh, 19 then. Okay. Uh, you notice a manhole cover uh, uh, on the ground. Kind of tucked in where the crates are. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm going to do a series of... <clears throat> uh, and how are you guys we, feeling? We can just talk, I feel like. <laughs> you guys all have good, good health-wise? Who's asking? Uh, me. <laughs> the visible person in the alleyway. Yeah. Hey, how are you guys doing health wise? <laughs> hey, can I kick your ass? <laughs> I mean, I'm a little roughed up, but I'm okay, I guess. Yeah, I'm good. I, I use. I'm okay. I'm back to full. That's an ominous question. I think Is I'm it? fine. <laughs> Wait, why am I roughed up? Because you guys hadn't had, you haven't had a rest. Like, took at least a short rest. Did, did, short that, rest. that cleric did the he did the restoration to get us unpoisoned. Did he not heal us? No. Oh, okay. I mean, that's the way I treated him. I don't think. So. <laughs> what? Well, what did we do? What did what we, we do? do? You all know what you did. <laughs> what did we do? Don't act in innocent. Okay. <laughs> oh, you threatened a man one time. <laughs> <laughs> you hold one knife to a man's throat, and all of a sudden, you know, he doesn't like you. Uh, I'm gonna poke my head down the. Thing, I guess I'm not. <laughs> uh, give me a um. A manhole covers kind of heavy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a strength. So it's back closed I'm again. It's closed. Boys. Yeah, that's the clunk that you heard. None okay. of us are really beefy. That I couldn't right. imitate. Yeah. We're all, oh, you're beefy in your mind. Yeah, you're beefy. It's kind of like that stone scraping sound. Manhole mat and a noise. Well, I'm actually actually pretty. Let's see some voice acting. Yeah, right. Yeah, like, some like, <laughs> just kidding. Beefy lady. All right. Yeah. Uh, so you, that would be strength? Yeah. Uh, dirty 20. Okay. So, yeah, you lift up, up the manhole cover and you stick your head down in there. Yeah. Um, give me perception. Give me reason. I said that did not sound like a word. <laughs> give me reason. That was actually a 22. And this is a 24. Um, as you're kind of, you look down, and it is kind of a sewer system that you notice. It's one of those open, like, where people can go down and, like, walk in there. Um, you do, uh, about, I mean, how far would you have gotten? It's been probably six seconds. So, um, you see a lurking figure walking down the sewer. Right? 
big bulky cloak sleeper. I'm going to pop my head out and say, yay or nay. I mean, I I would like some answers. I'd like to know who this person is. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to slither on in. Slither on in. Okay. Uh, is everybody following? Yes. Yeah. Okay, What? Do, how are you approaching this situation? Uh, I'm stealthing it. I'm crawling on the ceiling. Do we want to? Do we want to like intercept him now, or wait till he gets to where he's going? I don't know. It's not where, idea. where he's going? Yeah, I think we. I think we just follow. We'll just tail him. Okay. okay. We're going to silently. He's really good storytelling, so we're just going to keep walking. <laughs> silently walking. And silently walking. Uh, do you get, give me self checks? Yep. I am for sure crawling on the ceiling. Okay. Yep. Same. I mean, I'm sure every service is not going to do. Goodness. 11. 11. Oh, it's the 13. Splash, splash, you, splash, are your dice okay oh, today? No. They hate me. Uh, that's okay, a, so. That one from... <laughs> you got an 11. A... That oh. one. Can I, oh, no. Can I just slip on the ceiling and fall? Into the <laughs> yes, bridge? you do that. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, you that's totally that do that. Yeah. Uh, and, um, what did you get? Yeah, what? 11. <laughs> oh, for so? Uh, uh, I like. A, like 11. So the highest is 11. <laughs> <laughs> just splish splashing through. Um, <laughs> and then Rabble just drops oh. down and drops all of his okay, gold. Okay, so I rolled uh, for perception for this person and <clears throat> do not notice you. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did they also get a nat 1 on their perception check? So, There's no way. I guess it, how much would a nat 1 affect three elevens? You know what I mean? Like, sure. It's a nat one, so it's like it's bad. It is bad. Okay. Can um. We... He he. I mean, he was very close to an eleven. He he rolled a ten perception. So I guess with your nat one, we'll just say that uh he turns around and he lowers his hood and actually, you see um. You've seen so. Give me a I don't know. Give me a uh, history check. And I wish that I would have sent in the, uh, the photo of what this guy looks like. <coughs> well, you can do it with advantage because of something that you don't want. That it's not good. So do it with advantage. Come on. It's one of these two. Do you, I've got more. If you do, you need different <laughs> yeah. dice. Oh, I think we all need to chip in. Do you, you want to roll? Do you want to roll in 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 this guy? Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe it's on the table. Some kush, a little kush kush. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll try that next one. But in the meantime, uh, that was a five. Okay, so you see a a super. He lowers his hood. You see this guy with like very similar glasses to you, sunglasses. Um, he has a uh, deep green skin. Um, and he looks like a, an orc. He's a very tall, uh, uh, towering orc. And you, there's something here with you that you're like, oh no. Because this reminds you of someone from the Draconis Malasath. Oh. And he looks at you and he says, I know what you've been up to, Rabble, and I can't wait to tell on you. Um, and, uh, give me, um... Well, with your time at the Draconis Malice app, I think you would know that there are different people called them, the, like, malefactors that uh, are frontline captains of the Draconis Malice app. And um, so this, this, this specific guy are, are out to find um, their intelligence, basically. Uh, okay. And so yeah, he... You see, he he braces his his fists. He has uh, spikes on his uh, his knuckles, and he's like, "Should we do this? Because I'm about to tell on you. I'm gonna tell everybody, and then we'll see what the Draconis Malasath will do with you." Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna kill you, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's very intimidating. I swear. Are, um. Okay, let's quick, go initiative. Quick side. Yeah. Aren't orcs are pretty uncommon right yeah right? i thought there were like um orcs are not uncommon they're not, really oh they're no. not ones that were wiped out no okay okay, there you go. okay it's, there you go. 
We're doing initiative? Yep. Okay. Uh, and I did not get a pen or a piece of paper. Give me a second. Get a pencil. Or something. Cut this out! Cut it out, folks! <laughs> Hey, it, it makes me feel my... any better. My practice rolls were a one, a two, a one. A three. <laughs> I was like, this is not going to go well today, folks. Yeah, but your practice, your game rolls have been fun. Uh, it's because I ordered them, but which dice was the worst? Uh, like, the first three are quite atrocious. I, you can try them, though. Gary, what'd you get? Uh, I took, <clears> excuse me, I got a 19. Zero? Yes, uh, I got a 12. Okay. Merit? 12 as well. Uh, you have higher decks, I assume. I think so. 19. Ooh. You probably have higher decks than Gary. Uh, my dexterity is 1. 16. But I'm limber. Um, okay. it, I have 18. Or oh, it's 13. Oh. Okay, so. Yes. So we're going to start. Gara. 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 Never going to happen, buddy. What? Isn't Gara a combination of Gary and Sierra? Sierra. Uh, it is. It's oh. never going to happen, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> I ship it. Okay, so... It's either uh, Gara or Sierra. <laughs> this guy, as he, as he uh, grips his, uh, his spiky knuckles, uh, he says, this haunt won't let you get away with this rabble. Um, he, he refers to himself as a haunt, which he heard uh, within the Dracomus Malice app. Uh, situation. Crime syndicate. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so Rabble, you are up yeah. first. Which say, is oh, very poetic. Sure. Mm -hmm. say, oh, so you're not even, like, important. Okay. I no, I'm important. What do you mean? I've yeah, got sure. five okay. knuckles. Yeah, 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 sure. That's why you're the first guy out. Uh... I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna tell tale on you. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah? Can you do... Can you? Are you cool enough to do this yet? And I'm gonna run at him and do the... My little... And... Run and teleport behind him and try and smack him with the. Okay. Uh. Are you grabbing a rock again? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> um, but when you do that, so you, what did you do? You. Uh, I I ran at him. Uh, my thirty feet, and then uh, I'm assuming he's within forty five feet, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I used my wraith strike to teleport behind him. He actually reacts to that. Uh, once you get within five feet, he teleports ten feet back. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm... Oh, who's the big guy now? I'm ten feet away from you again. Alright, whatever, man. And I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm super, Rebel's just gonna take out his hammer and like do like the baseball wind-up, and I'm gonna hold my action... For I, I'm gonna be like, I'll wait for you, sweetheart. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else? No. Gary. Gara. Gara. Uh, Gara. Perform together. The newest team. I'm just gonna start off uh, simple with um, uh, staying in the back. Just kind of doing a classic Eldritch Blast bow shot towards this guy. Okay. Classic. 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 It's kind of a legolas move. On, on <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Got to flip uh, onto a horse, too. 20, 22. Huh? 22 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Sorry, I was just imagining legolas flipping around the horse. Remember that part? Oh, it was and he's like, yeah. whoosh, and he's like, and it's so cool. Yeah. And then he grabs like three arrows, and he's like, shh. Uh, he slides down the... 13. This is uh, all what Gary's doing right now. 13 bludgeoning. <laughs> 13? Okay. Yes. Only D&D &D was ever as cool as the uh, anything else for Gary? No. Merit. Uh, point. That's me. Um. All right. So Merit is. Uh, Merit's gonna run up and get up on. Oh. How how close would you say is? Uh, I think you guys are thirty feet. Thirty. Okay. So I'll use thirty feet of movement. Get within range. And make some attacks. Okay. You don't look like a big deal at all. <laughs> I, I have no problem with any of you. I just have a problem with Rabble. All right, well, because he we're we're rolling with Rabble right now. So he's, he's an abandoner <laughs> of the 
crime scene kit. It's very important to me. Do you want to maybe think of your words before yeah, you speak out loud? You, <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, and then I punch him in the face uh, with a uh, 23. Uh, hits. Uh, right. Just you wait till it's my turn. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> uh, <laughs> seven point. <laughs> it's it's seven, snake boys all over again. Seven points. Okay. And attack. That's going to be a 12 to hit. Uh, does not hit. Okay. And I'm going to use a key point for a blows. Uh, 11. To hit? No. Yeah. He definitely moves out of the way of your mind strikes. Your brain he punches. Somehow no, I'm, I'm using my fist right now. Oh, okay. Um, okay, uh, and then Sira. Alright, uh, I'm gonna unhinge the uh, chained axe at my hip, okay. and I'm gonna throw it at him from ceiling. That <laughs> is a natural 20. Whoa! Uh, so then I'm, yeah, going to recall it uh, as it yeah. strikes his flesh. His, his big, burly flesh. Yeah. Get in that, like, nice meaty shoulder. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that will be... Calm down, everybody. Calm down. <laughs> this is Steamy <laughs> Night. <laughs> steamy Night. Steamy Night. Steamy Night. Steamy Night. Steamy Sewer Night. How much? That was nine on the... Well, wait. Am I doubling the... How do you do that? Do you double, uh, double the di- damage dice. Right? Yeah. yeah. So you roll another D6. Yeah. Some people roll twice as many dice. Some people double the dice you have rolled. So it's your choice. We, I think we decided that we roll double Both. dice. Roll double dice. Double dice, yeah. So that is a 13 slash. Okay. Whatever. Ouch. I don't care. It's my turn now. <laughs> and how, uh, he's, how beat up does he look? Did, it, did that seem to tunnel, tunnel him? Uh, he's actually bloody. All right. Um, but he's going to, uh, you're right next to him. He's going to pull out. He has his. Well, he's, well, he's 10 feet away from me. Right. But. Because he ran. He did. He did a little. He did a fun he thing. Did like a he did a sneak. He did a sneak. He's going to pull out his short sword and uh, be like, I don't even need these spiky knuckles. It's just for looks. That's how cool I am. And he's going to attempt to slash at you with his short sword. Do I get my, so is... do I get my held? Yes, you do. My held swing. So is he moving to get. To him? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do I get oh, um, yeah. I'm going to say he's moving around. He's still within your radio. I think he's still within your He's not leaving your attack. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he, he's just moving. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah he's just Five, moving. but. Still, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. Gotcha. yeah. You get your attack. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. Uh, that's the one. That's the one I'm keeping. Uh, that is a twenty-five to hit. Mm-hmm, that hits. Okay. He also hits you. I get my second damage. Uh, twenty-two. Uh, he full damage on you. What did you get? Uh, twelve. Okay. He does eight kind of points of we get, he does uh, eight hand points of uh, piercing damage to you. <laughs> And he picks up, he, uh, he takes his short sword and he licks it, the blood off of it. Oh, gross. And. Are you rolling a constitution saving throw for him? No. Oh. I'm rolling to see how many hit points he gets back. Oh. Ew. Hey, uh. Whoa! I get that. Are his knuckles, uh, like, genetically real, or are they, like, attached? Like, are they, like, things that he weapon. wears, or are they, they his actual knuckles? They're, like, brass knuckles with spikes? Or it would they... be cooler if they were, like, his real knuckles, but I'm, they're just brass knuckles. I was going to take them either way. Okay. Well, he's not dead yet. <laughs> not yeah. yet. Uh, he can't, he can't we're back to the top. So he does that a little slurpy slurp on his story. He's like, mmm, delicious. <laughs> Your blood. This guy is fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're back up to Ravel. Uh, all right. Uh, as and I... he is being flanked right now by Merritt. Yep. Okay. Uh, as I connected with one of his uh, knees previously, I'm yeah. going to circle around and do okay. whap, whap, coming okay. for the other side. Whap. Oh, whap. You're so little. Yeah, so big. See you, tiny. Okay, all right. Now we're starting to do things. Uh, 26. Yeah. 
that's doing things. Here we go. Let's get it. Uh, that is going to be 12 points of damage. Um, He's looking pretty rough. And then uh, I'm going to say, uh, uh, let's well, let's watch you do that teleport thing again. And then I'm going to, just for the extra attack, I'm going to race strike him again. Okay. Yeah. So it's a bonus section? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna psych him out, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him think I'm teleporting somewhere. But really, I'm teleporting right back to where I'm standing. Okay. What? 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 Psych. Dang it. Uh. Okay. So it's gonna be another twenty-five. Yep. For another three points of bludgeoning. Okay. Uh. Yeah. He used his reaction last round, so he still has the reaction. <laughs> Uh, but it is Gary sir. Okay. Uh, do you want me to end this, or do you want to talk, speak with him, or what? I would like to ask him some questions. What? What do you need to ask me questions about? I already told you my whole purpose. <laughs> what uh, do you need to know? Who do you who, who <laughs> The Sopranos Malice app. Well, right, but who is your direct... The crime syndicate that you have left. Who is directly above you? Uh... I'm not telling you that. Uh, well, then that's why we need to have a conversation. I, either I leave and go tell on you, or I die here today. Yes, yes, that's uh, two options. <laughs> Those are the only options that I have in my brain. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Or the Draconis Malice app. Okay. <laughs> yes, let's take this one alive. He seems uh, useful. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to grapple him. I'm going to approach and try to grapple him. Okay. Uh, that's just a contested strength check, mm -hmm. right? Grapple that bar. Oh, but I, th I have a thing. What is it? Um, What's your thing? Gary's got his thing. It's later on. I got a nat 20. I got a nat 1. Wow. <laughs> there, it is the stupidest. Don't worry, I got this. Grapplings. He just like <laughs> He, he just elbows you, and Gary just falls back. Ah. I'm going to say you fall prone if you're not one. All right. Yeah. And he just elbows you, and he's like, no. <laughs> like Gary slips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just said, yeah, Gary slips, and he just pushes you down. I've got a thing. <laughs> no, see, no, Gary. It's, it's, it's for later, though. Here. See, what I'm, see what I mean? Yes. Uh, is that it? Yeah. Merit. Uh, I'm ceiling slippery. Oh, I forgot to do something. No. Let's do it. Turn. No, it's it's it was out of order. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a couple more strikes at advantage. Uh, nat twenty. Oof. Oof is right. He is on uh, death's door. So that's eleven damage. Uh, I do want to do non-lethal. Non-lethal, he goes down. Fantastic. <laughs> Rebel Riverston. I've been wiped none of the luck off. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what, uh, what is what are you doing? Can I loot him? Yeah, I can loot him. Cool, I'm just gonna steal his nuts. Uh, I'm gonna try. 16. I mean, they're there. You can just take them off. That's pretty easy. Yeah, anything else? But, then? yeah, I was gonna... He has a short sword, which is what's in his hand. Also. Out very interesting worldly possessions. Uh, and you find sixteen gold pieces. Is there any anything else interesting? <laughs> uh, he's got really cool sunglasses, and he wear he's wearing a yeah he's wearing uh he wears really cool sunglasses. Sunglasses of the night. He is. <laughs> I wish you could see this picture. I really want to show it to you. I don't know. Uh, we'll add it in. Yes. Um, and he has a really cool belt that's like studded. And he wears a uh, dust, like a leather duster. Uh, Is that what those are called? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Dibs. <laughs> um, are you just an orc? <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> Is there anything specific you're looking for? I have like a no. tray. Uh -huh. um, but I am uh -huh. going to take his sword away from him and the knuckles away from you him. You also see within use. the coins that he has a coin that has a Draconic Malasaf, just like a symbol on it, almost like a, a membership coin kind of situation. And I'll pocket that one. You um, might yes. want to let me hold on to that one. It'd just be bad if somebody saw you with it. Great. Let's do it. 
just cool with me. Um, but I am going to take the weapons away. I don't want them, but. No, we sell them. But the, are you keeping the brass knuckles? I mean, yeah. A maybe. granny with a granny with brass knuckles. Be great for the ring. Uh, I rolled to see how long he'll be out. So. Do we want to keep him down here, or do we want to run the risk of getting him back to the hotel? I mean, I think whatever information we might get out of him, we could probably get out of him pretty quick down here, and then leave him like we did the snake for us. <laughs> it's just tied up. <laughs> I mean, it's your call. It's your... We'll say... Yes, I... We have a way of, of rousing him. I will him. say, leaving him alive is pretty risky for you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right. He is fully... Oh, He yeah. intelligence. He was... Yeah, you know, that's fair. No, you're right. You know, yeah, things I can't, about haunts. And can't leave him alive. They don't, they don't give up until they tell on you. What if we just cut his tongue out? He's still Damn, right. He's still right. dude! Yeah, he can, he can write. Well, I, I know, but would he? I did an overlay. <laughs> you know? Her, I if someone cut my tongue out, out, I wouldn't tell on him. <laughs> I, mean, I would once you're safe back with your crew or whatever. Yeah. Uh, um, the thing is, is he going to know that like we can't leave him alive? Is he even going to tell us anything? Oh, uh, but I'm a sweet old lady. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can try it. I mean, it's a shtick that has worked in the Trying ring. Good cup, bad cup. Good cup, old lady cup. Well, I mean, if while he's out, we can probably... While, while he's unconscious, we can probably figure out some, maybe, point of egress to start the conversation. Uh, but no, it would... I'm assuming he know. I don't know this dude is. Uh, no, that, that is a good point. Uh, he might not give us information just based on the fact that he knows that I can't leave him alive. I mean, we just also can't just hang out with him for endless time. Like, you know, like, what are we For hours waiting for him to wake up. Yeah. Yeah. So either we rouse him and ask him questions, and if he doesn't comply, we kill, or we kill outright, but none of that feels good. Yeah. Give me a, um, Ravel, give me a, give me, I know you're not the most intelligent, but if anybody wants to help him think through this situation, give me, you can... Give me intelligence with advantage because you were a part of the Draconis Malice. Yeah, who is this? Who is this fellow? What's he up? Why is he so bad at you? Old work acquaintance. Uh, thirteen. Okay, Can, so uh, would I? Could I do like a history check on that and what I might know about the Draconis Malice? Yeah, in specific, like, would I know anything about the haunt? Oh, just like seeing the. Because I guess I haven't actually... Have I told you guys that I was part of the Dracarys? No. no. Yeah. So I don't even know if that's, like, a thing that would be on Is there something radar. that when Gary was traveling around, he might have been out pursuing? Helping to pursue? With the Knight's Paladin? Um... That's a good question. The thing about the Draconis Malasef is it is up and coming crime syndicate. It's not really well known. So the law, um, law brand's not like trying to squash them necessarily. Not a lot of people know about it. Okay. They probably they not. keep real. They usually keep real quiet. Except for this guy. He tried to. Yeah. I mean, he did pretty <laughs> good so far. Yeah. Um. No, I think you guys are right. I think, uh, I don't think there's any information to be had from this fellow. Uh, and Rowell's just gonna... Just yep. bonk him on the head? Yep. You kill him? Okay. Yep. Bonk! It's a silly pill. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. He's a stormtrooper. It's fine. Um, yeah, I would say that, uh... As, uh, with your intelligence, I, let me get back to that. Like, you would know that, um, these guys are hired to find certain people. So, yeah, he was hired to look for you specifically. And, um, you don't know how long he's been following you. It could be. And, and you also know that a lot of the haunts, what, what this guy is, they are cunning thieves, essentially, that just, like, stalk the shadows, and, and so he could have been in Leeds already, you know what I mean? So, it's kind of one of those things, and there are 
eyes everywhere. Yeah, kind of like who knows how much information he's already gathered. Yeah. Uh, so Sierra's gonna take out like a like a husk of like kind of like a seed pod that has like a little a little cork thing, and I'm gonna uh, drain some of the orc's blood into it, stopper it, okay. and put it in my Do some of that malasaf blood. Pretty gnarly bag. Okay. For taking trophies. It's not a trophy. It's not a trophy. <laughs> Science. You have what else? What Science. else do you have in this nasty bag? Oh. You have dirty dog. Um, skins. You have, uh... Didn't you take something off one of the snake boys? Yes. I tried to harvest his <laughs> venom or fangs, fangs or ven- I think. Venom? I thought about doing that with the orc, but I think I've scarred you guys enough for the last couple days, <laughs> so I was looking to take the block. <laughs> Sira taking her grim trophies. Um, science. <laughs> It's for science. It's for science. You don't need it anymore. It's fine. So, um, we lost the dice. And so this haunt is dead. Um. So I don't know how much you explain to everybody, or if you do, you can explain it. I don't volunteer any information, uh, outside of just saying, oh, yeah, you know, he was uh, an old work acquaintance from, uh, out of town, and, uh, Give me a deception yeah. check. <laughs> I also am going to take his belt. Can, can I do an insight? Yeah. Whoever wants to do an insight, can't. I'm not going to talk to mm-hmm. And I can give Rabble Rabble's deception. pretty deceptive. I'm Let's pretty see. insightful, though. That's true. Can you get a 25? 21. Oof. Yeah. Anybody beat a 25? I got a natural one. <laughs> Dang, dude. But also, I feel like Gary would be like, we all have pasts. Yeah. He can kind of identify with, like, wanting to be as nondescript as possible. Yeah. And maybe some people are out looking for you. So. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, I understand. The only thing I'd, I'd want to know is, are there more coming? Perhaps. Uh, taking care of this fellow here, though, uh, I think we'll throw them off my trail for quite some time. I'll trust you. You guys took him down pretty well, says God from somewhere. <laughs> Thanks, <He's> God. There. <laughs> Just echoing through. You guys did a pretty good job, job, job. I would, uh, I would like to take the okay. giant orc-sized duster. Okay. <laughs> cool. It is really cool. I can't wait to show you this picture. Um. Okay. Um, so what else is the uh, height, height difference between the <laughs> yeah. and just dragging oh, a wedding dress? So, uh-huh. Yeah, you have a tra- you definitely have a train behind you. Uh huh. One hundred percent. Full, full, full long duster and wig. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Fred, Fred, well, you gotta walk in the back. Party, now, I'm yeah. telling you. I'm just gonna be tripping over your train here. Uh, I'm casting prestidigitation to clean the muck off me and anyone else who needs it. Of the sewer muck. Yes. But we're still in the sewer. Well, but I mean, some of us are more in it than others. Yeah, you did fall on your face. Yeah, you fell, <laughs> you fell right. Yeah. Did I fall on my face? I thought it just felt like I don't know. I, mean, I guess I fell on like my face. You fell at one, too. You got that one. You, with yeah. you yeah. fell badly. Whatever, whatever that entails, you did not fall well. You fell with everything. Your face was bare. <laughs> you fell with your whole body right onto the sewer ground. Hey, me too. Yeah, it's fine. Um, it's been let's, a long let's, day. Yeah. You guys want to keep hanging on the sewer? No, no, it's been a very long day. Yeah, very yeah. Long day. Uh, it has been. I think I'm ready to turn in. Agreed. Says so the guy that doesn't take any damage. <laughs> Still. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So you head back to the um, red rocks in. Red, red road in. in. Red road in. Red roads in. Red roof in. TM. Red roof in. TM, TM, TM. <laughs> uh, they'll be sponsored soon. Uh, <laughs> that, Wouldn't it be great if we got sponsored by Red Roof Inn? Red Roof Inn and Abelardo's. <laughs> yeah. This episode in particular, you're like, yeah, that's what we want. That's what we <laughs> like. Uh, is the Sleepy Lee behind the counter? Yeah, it's time, time. So, yeah. Yeah. Sleepy Lee. Lee. Hey. Welcome to Red Roads Inn. I'm, my name's Jeremy. What was his name? His name was actually something else. <laughs> I think it was Jeremy. Home, sleepy. But you call him sleepy. Yeah. Jeremy, I think it was. All right. Yeah. I just give him a nod and walk. He doesn't seem sleepy because it's like he's just getting to Starting a shift. Yeah. Okay. 
Would he have any delicious noms? Um, noms? Noms? Don't you have a pocket full of delicious hard, hard jerky? And orc blood? And orc blood? <laughs> Combo is delish. No, mm, I was mostly wondering if he would that. have like any ale or anything. Um, they they like don't have any. A... They don't have any like foods for like. Yeah, I was just curious. But you did pass a couple. There there are still some caverns and stuff open. No, I'm Red Roads is pretty minimal. I'm B. I'm the okay. color of my hammock. Is anybody doing anything for a sleepy time? I think Rabble is definitely, like, panic packing. Okay. Mm. Like, it, this, it's kind of, it's almost like instinctual for him at this point. He's just like, oh, okay, somebody from Draconis Malasath was here. I need to pack and go right now. Okay. So it's like a, just like, weird moment where he's sort of like packing up and you know he leaves his stuff sprawled out all over the place but it's just like his possessions that he cares about like his uh more glamorized uh items uh and he's like packing up and i think just kind of like takes a beat and like it's like not here by himself anymore and sort of, like, looks around the room and, like, looks outside, tries to, like, is just sort of very on edge. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think, you know, does not get good sleep that night. Uh, Gary's going to go to bed, but uh, he's going to toss and turn for a while and, and think of something that Ravel said in jest earlier. And uh, he's going to give up time to sleep and get up and... Uh, Put on some clothes and and head out. And I think he's he might he might do a quiet knock at Rattle's door just to see if he's still up or not. This is maybe half hour later. How did what were our, what was our room situation? Were we all in an individual room? We all in the yeah. and Sarah's sleeping outside. Right. So about half an hour after we got there, if I knocked on your door quietly, would you still be awake? Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'm knocking on your door. Sure. All right. Uh, you might. You, you probably might... shit your pants. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, definitely, one hundred percent. But I mean, hey, I never. Know. Yeah. I, ne <laughs> I never got the muck off after the sewer, so it's fine. Uh, Ew. Ew. Gross. <laughs> I think you. I yeah. I, I open the door. And I I think you see like Rabble like has like some stuff packed. Oh, are you all right, man? Oh yeah, of course. No, I'm fine. It's uh, what's up, Gare? All right. Well. You know, this is probably stupid, but I, I'm worrying about that snake boy we left tied up behind. It was, it was really my intention that he like survive, but now I think that maybe if we tied him up too much, and he might just starve to death in there. And so I'm, I'm gonna go walk over and take care of it, make sure he's all right. But uh, it's up to you if you want to come along. Just, I, I'm letting you know I'm going. If if anybody asks and I don't come back, but uh, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh Splitting up the party. <laughs> Woo! You know, I can't uh can't really sleep much anyways. I'll I'll join you. Maybe a nice late night walk could uh help clear my head. We ought to be back in about half an hour. It'll be fine. It'll just take a second. Yeah, because it wasn't that it was like you said it was fifteen minutes outside of yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just take it let's stretch our legs, make sure he's alright. Yes, I one death on my hands is more than enough for the day. People take their jobs too seriously. I feel like that guy maybe took himself a little too seriously. Yes. Okay. Right, so we're going to start. Just so kinda... you make your way towards the Alden Day ruins that you are. Okay, can I, uh, are they being, are you guys being particularly no. quiet on the well, way I'm, I'm, Maybe you would want us to be at this point because of what happened. Yeah, I would, I would probably like, uh, I would say, uh, uh, Perhaps we should uh, yes, we just keep a low profile. Just, you know, it, it happened within an hour. Yeah. I don't think anyone else is going to be here looking for me, or they would be that quick about it, but that should be safe. Better than safe than sorry. Uh, but we might pass by where your hammock is. Yeah, I guess that was my question. What I noticed them leaving, can I roll it disadvantage because uh, I'm yeah. snoozing? Yeah, go ahead and, um, if you're not snoozing yet, go ahead and... Sixteen. Yeah, I'm, I mean, if you guys aren't being stealthy, I would imagine that you. Well, we are kind of being stealthy. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. so you want to roll one of you and roll yeah, why stealth? Roll stealth? Yeah, let's roll stealth. This is a game. Nerd. Roll dice. This really happened. Merritt's going to roll for sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I got a 10. Merritt's just sleeping away. Uh, dirty 20. Um, yeah, so I guess with the combination of uh, 30, 20, and 10, that would be like a 15. So, yeah, you still don't sleep. Uh, what are you up to? Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot you were out here. I didn't know it, but you, I just you, you, you do you go to the outside somewhere. I thought you'd be asleep by this point. Because yeah. like... normal people fall asleep in a half hour. Maybe she's she's very old. <laughs> right? Yeah. We just put to God. Yeah. <laughs> she's uh, very old. <laughs> what, are you, what are you up to? I'm just worried about that snake boy we left tied up. I kind of would like him to live. Speaking through the light and got out of there. Just a quick check. You should never have left it alive. Don't take any trophies. Uh, well, you don't I have don't to call me if you want to just, you know, right, snooze. Yeah. You're, you're, get your blue, yeah, your I am gonna sleep. Say, I think I am going to, I'm going to kind of feel the vibe that I, uh, they're up to stop. Uh, yeah. We'll be fine. It'll just take a moment. How far away was that cave? Uh, like 15 minute walk. Okay, well then, I'll give you guys an hour or so. If you're not back, I'll get married and come. Sounds good. All right. The DM frankly looks for something hard for something to happen. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, dragon. so you had to... Um, I will need a luck roll from either one of you. Uh, 15. Okay. Um, you make your way down into, uh, you make that same walk, um, go down into the little, little, uh, uh, ruins, underground ruins, um, and you walk towards where S Snake Boy Frederick, uh, was, and he, um, he's not there. All right. There's I... blood. Well, there's, and... there's a battle, so... Yeah, there. Well, where he was sitting specifically, there's blood, um, trailing off in a different direction. Trailing. I mean, yeah, he was bleeding. All right. He was unconscious and bleeding, and he woke up. Well, uh, well let's perhaps let's go. he managed to find his free himself from his uh, spots. Maybe wiggled away with the ropes on bleeding. Sadly, I'm I'm just gonna follow the blood if I can. Uh, give me survival. Uh, can I, get, uh, do you want a hand? I, yeah, probably. Uh, I'm not good at this sort of thing. Yeah, you're welcome to if you want. Sure. I got a 12. Okay. You hear me and get survival. That's true. Wow, there's been a lot of nat ones in this so far. Um... You kind of trail, the, the blood leads a little bit, and you kind of lose, it, it kind of goes away after a while. I don't know what way Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to just give a quick check a little further down that direction. So, yeah, he went towards where those glowing lights were when you first saw. Yeah, where um, you were in Which trance. you do not see those glowing lights there anymore. Oh, They're no. maybe moved on. Um, and the tunnel keeps going down. You being stealthy at all? Yeah, we're being cautious. I'm going to say I'm going to go like 100 feet further, and then if I don't see anything, I'm going to just come back. Uh, if you're being cautious, are you trying to roll stealth, or are you yeah. just being cautious? Yeah, yeah roll stealth. Uh, about this time, Sika realizes she has made a grave mistake. <laughs> it's 15 minutes after they've left, I'm going to rouse Merritt and head that way. Because we can't just fucking sleep, guys. <laughs> we can't just sleep. We can't trust them by themselves. <laughs> I got a now uh, I'm that conversation. It was one of those like early onset dementia moments where she made the worst decision ever. What uh, did you get? Uh, I got a fifteen. Okay. Um, give me a perception check. Who's this guy? Straight. Eighteen. Fourteen. Uh, Ravel, you smell a familiar smell. It smells stinky, like bad dog breath, and you start to hear some panting come around the corner. Oh no! I if yeah, let's no. And 
that's what you hear and see or don't see anything yet. all right well I, yeah it's if you let me know i would say well, i don't hey, listen to the dog yeah he's <laughs> That's what it sounds like this morning. He's probably got allies as, as long as he's, yeah, let's. <laughs> oh, maybe the dog's got friendly. Oh, that's <laughs> true. They weren't very friendly. <laughs> you guys just going to sit here and talk no, about we're, it? No, we're, 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 we're back in the way. Yeah, I don't know. This conversation is being had on our uh, way out. Yeah. yeah, so you can you can only hear and smell, but yeah, if you're, you're making your way out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. He's probably fine, fine. <laughs> It's it it ended however it was supposed to end. <laughs> okay. Uh, you yeah. heading back to the Red Roads Inn. You run into Sierra and Merritt. Yeah. Merritt it is <laughs> a bit like that. Why are you out of bed, Bonnie? I thought you were very tired. I... Go this back to your bed. Fault. <laughs> I want to. Why are you guys out here? Just uh, following up a couple loose ends, getting some night air. Yeah. We we had to let the could have done that in the morning. Interrupt my sleep. I didn't do anything. Okay, I was feeling guilty didn't about you? how we left the snake boy, so we were going to go and set him free. But uh, he's he's probably fine. He's probably fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So as you all head back to bed, you head back to bed. Yes. And uh, it's the next day. What time do you all wake up? What, what do you do when you wake up? I wake with the sun. And yeah. uh, I do some old lady stretches in the morning, okay. um, right there on the earth, mm -hmm. and I get my little like kind of bulbous fingers, so just dig them into the earth and do downward granny and hang That's out. So cute. And downward, downward get really granny. limber for the day. <laughs> Steamy night. Um, <laughs> and uh, my scales today are gonna be like a like a nice earthy sagey green Ooh, i like that i'm feeling extra flex today do you, do you just get to decide that every day yeah it's kind of cute and if i stay really still no one can see me that's true we haven't talked about that really i mean yeah. we did for maybe a couple sessions ago but... i'm just picturing sierra just standing just in the middle of a very busy street just like <laughs> 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 There's people bumping Woo! into her. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so it's the sixth day uh, of the week. What else is everybody else doing? Uh, I think Mary just does some meditation in the morning. Um, and uh, yeah, just gets dressed, wipes the dirt off his clothes. It's ready for the day. Uh, I also spend a, a moment. Uh, made like putting various ingredients just like learning various ingredients in um kind of a pouch of sorts and mashing them together and like the various ingredients that you've gotten over the past couple of ingredients you're just gonna like mash them up all together and make a little, the body parts a little and like a suicide like a, it's like a sludge okay. yeah i don't even know that it's, most people a, would call that a but but it all it's only uh it's for science it's only something that i'm gonna take uh for science and we'll see how it goes you're gonna fact, uh, drink it i mean no not right now <laughs> i'm gonna test it not right now what 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 is and the actually what is the viscosity oh, yeah, of, you this, do have of a, this body part mass yeah and she uh, has a once per day yeah. Yeah. so what'd so. you get uh, potion of superior healing. Whoa! That's what that uh, orc's blood was good for. Yeah, that's, that's true. Good. Probably healing properties. Yeah. Dang. Because he healed, so I assume. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, good. You know, like honestly, that is a big relief. I thought you were just doing all of that for fun, which would have been way scary. The fact that it has a practical use makes me feel a lot better about it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, um, yeah, that's totally why that's I took why I all. Said it wasn't a trophy, sir. <laughs> you thought you were weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely exactly why I took all those things. <laughs> so you're all kind of. Did you? Yeah, I, I've got a couple just uh, minor errands. Uh, yeah. What? Do, you all gather up, um, yeah. maybe right outside Red Roads Inn. Um, sand markets are popping. Um, what? what we, yeah. Discuss. Uh, well, I, I just would like to stop by maybe a, a some kind of general store or something. Really? I heard genital store. A genital store. You know, just see what's there. Sierra would probably want I don't, to go there. Yeah. nights! I don't... <laughs> what? 
I need uh, to, I need to heal this kid. That's what I'm saying. Great. Okay. So, what, what, what else? And maybe uh, uh if, I, I'm not in this. So, yeah, uh, well, as I'm walking around uh these markets, do I see? We've covered a lot of ground in the city of lights. And yeah. Have I seen something that might actually have some good coffee? <laughs> A dedicated coffee. coffee shop. Uh, I thought we. There was a place that would definitely not serve me coffee. There was. There have been a couple places that just wouldn't serve you coffee. But um, I'm feeling nice today. Does the does the hotel not have coffee and no. uh, continental they don't breakfast? They don't have tea. Okay. <laughs> uh, why don't you roll perception? Perception's not great. Or yeah. Oh, it's the 19th. Um, yeah, you see some of the, a, a general store that says, uh, like, fins everything. And then outside of there, you see a little coffee. Like a little coffee. Thank you. All right. And go up. <laughs> and we can just say that he gets the coffee. It's not, I mean, it's not <laughs> encounter just to buy a, a cup of coffee. Uh, you're lucky I rolled five. <laughs> uh, the coffee, uh, the coffee cart's still open. Right. So I'm there was no uh, there was no malfunction to the coffee maker. Why would there be? It'd be just... What didn't that happen less the first time? In any case, I get my coffee and go inside. And can I easily get a healer's kit? Is the coffee good? Uh, <laughs> with a nineteen, I think it is. Okay. I mean, that's perception. It's not like a roll for a good coffee. Well, I, I smell it and I perceive it and I give one of those kind of commercial faces. Yeah, go ahead and roll, roll for coffee. coffee. Okay. Uh. What, this is straight coffee mm -hmm. roll? Okay, not advantage. No, <laughs> it's, it's 12. Okay. It's decent. It's, it's, all right, it's a little one. watery. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's kind of chilly. Yeah. That's it ain't good. Okay. I can make a healer's kit. Yes. Right. Uh, healer's kit. I, it's it's okay. some amount of money. I don't know how much I can just It's 10 gold. 10 gold. 10, ten, ten, yeah. ten gold. All right. We'll make our own rules. Um, on. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of that, anybody else need to? Yeah. Anything else at the general store for anybody? Okay. You do have um, some weapons if you're not using them in case. Sorry. Anybody... Uh, so... do they? Do they? Would there be a place to buy coffee itself? Like the grounds. Uh, at the general store, give me a um, give me a luck roll. This is current turned into a Coffee's. coffee Shut coffee up. shopping episode. <laughs> Did you get that one? There's Definitely no. no. They no. only they have decaf, and even that. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah, they they have ground coffee, but it's just decaf. Okay, and cool. the, the, where the like the caffeinated coffee is, it's all empty. <laughs> There's just tiny little. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. I guess we need to unload the sword and. Are you going to keep those knuckles? You want one? Kind of. Cool. Oh, do you want to cool? like a cool? Ah, same page. <laughs> well, there's no discussion there except for yeah. Uh -huh. Great, I love it. Yeah, I call the lefty. I got bread. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. So today, the only thing that you can think of that's on your schedule would be uh the security, security job tonight, and that's not until late. It's not until about ten p.m later tonight um do we want to uh stop by and visit uh the fellow of jail uh babar and uh see if Rabbar. <laughs> i'm sorry Rabbar, and see if maybe he saw something that might be of because he was out in this area wasn't he where this security uh this this grand ball was going to be held wasn't that the same place that the uh the incident happened more than that's where the where, where the, the ball, ball is uh it's in the Similar area, yeah. just in the desert area, right outside. I believe. Uh, maybe if we, if we, if he saw something, he would certainly be a useful person to talk to. I think. Yeah. Okay. Um. So the uh, the what did, what did I say? The heritage court. Heritage court is in uptown, where the Arcanus Academy is. Um. And so you head that way. Uh, so you go to the conservers post, which is essentially just uh, like a like a police station situation. And yeah, you enter in, and there's like a front desk. And before we go in, 
Uh, can we take kind of stop at saying, oh, it's fine. Let's go in and ask the officials. <laughs> or let's let's just go ask the effectively the police if we can go talk to a uh, a prisoner. Uh, I don't think they're going to let us do that. Oh, what if his family? Give me um, <laughs> give me a history check. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way that's one way yeah. you don't even know what he looks like <laughs> yeah so you remember when you were talking to grandmaster plunk and there were some conservers way back when um the charioteer uh came in and you guys were kind of investigating it you remember grandmaster plunk said hey these guys can invest i forget what he was. hey these guys can investigate anything they want they've oh. got my stamp of, uh, of approval Ah, Plunk coming through again. Uh, oh yeah, can I be wearing my... You have not met up with him yet to get your sh cool shirt. But you do have a letter from him. Yes. Saying you're like best buds. Yes. Plus, we, 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 uh, uh, Salad Dijon, uh, said that, uh... <laughs> Salad Dijon. <laughs> that, you know, we, we need, he, he was concerned about the, the threats to the to the Revelink uh, festival, and that this would, I think, fall into that purview of we could call upon his name and say, ah, oh, he wants us to make sure this could. is today. Try that. Yeah. So we've got two. And then if that fails, he's my grandson. Yeah. <laughs> Just see the those <laughs> the old fall. Now human, yeah, for sure. <laughs> hey, why not? I mean, we, we don't know, necessarily know that he's human. Oh, I guess you don't. <laughs> no, you do. You do. Uh, Grunk here. Grunk here was like my human friend. Yeah, he said my human friend. That's not weird. That's a little, well, gnomes wobble. They always refer to Grunk here as the office dwarf. Is that like a, a sub race of dwarves? Kind of like <laughs> no, that just refers to his really crappy office that he has in <laughs> Revolution. Oh. I, I was read. really, I was really hoping right. like a it's race of like office dwarves <laughs> existed. I mean, I think, I think it's do now. I mean, there's I, the God's made us for middle management. That's true. As a dwarves, sky dwarves. Yeah. <laughs> right. Sky. <laughs> Janitor dwarves. <laughs> yeah, we got a whole Executive dwarves. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, so, so we just want to throw the letter Let's... from Plunk? Yeah. I think we could uh, have enough sway here Let's to... Say, maybe I could official invest investigation. Yeah. Yes. Business. Yeah, go ahead. Um, and So when you walk in, you do see a few conservers um, yeah. sitting at a... Or I guess it's a counter. Um, sitting behind a counter. And they say... Hello, how may I help you today? Uh, we're here to speak, if we could, with one of the prisoners. Oh, who's that now? Rabar. Rabar, huh? Um, are you family? <laughs> no, we're here as part of the investigation. Oh, do you have credentials? I don't know, I've never seen any of your faces. Uh, we're here almost 24-7, I've never seen you. Uh, I believe some of your uh, fellow conservas may have uh, spoken with Grandmaster Plunk. Uh, Grandmaster Plunk, huh? Yes, he's, uh, not a, he's not a conserver, but... No, but you know how very important this festival is to the, to the city. That is true. Uh, why don't you give me... Persuasion. Uh, if you are showing him a letter or anything of, like, yeah. proof... It would be pers it would be persuasion if you were not showing him anything. It would just have to be like a deception situation. Yes, yeah, let's, let's show him the letter. Or I mean, if we're truthfully like you know. But yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, because I I really want to get to the bottom of this. Okay. Can I be yeah. persuasive? Yeah. Here, do you want to roll? Are we doing group uh, or are we doing? Can I, yeah, can you I, can do group because you're all around. Can I use my the, the help action for Gary to sure. hopefully give him yeah, advantage? Yeah, the advantage would be a nice thing yeah. to do right here. Yeah, I'd be all in favor of that. Oh, okay. Uh, dirty 20. Okay. Let's just go with Gary's roll. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, he's my grandson! <laughs> <laughs> um, he's like, oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I take this very seriously, too. I appreciate that. You know, um, we, we basically got the guy, but if you want to talk to him, we can, I can send, uh, I can uh, bring you to his uh, cell. We can talk outside the bars. Just a few questions. Uh, can I... Can, can I, you... Can I do a perception uh, to maybe see if there are any keys? If I see any, like what keys to get a it's like for jail cells? Yeah, 
Go ahead and give me just perception. a perception. Yeah. Just a perception. Calm down. Can I give you a disadvantage on this? Right. Is there any way <laughs> Is there any way we can stop <laughs> that? Can we just grab Siri and like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just a, tw- just a 21. Uh, yeah, you see that there are keys on the back wall, and then there's, but there are nondescript keys, and he also has keys on his side. Yeah. Connected to that's, that's yeah. all do we, belt. Can, can, do we know she's doing this? Yeah. Unless really? you're trying to perceive what she's doing, or inside, whatever she's doing. No, I wouldn't suspect that. I wouldn't suspect her. I would. Um, I'm not if, grabbing them. I was you could, just, no, just like, um, if you could, before we uh, head yes. over to the uh, cell, if you could leave your weapons uh, of any sort here and check them in. All right. Please. Think I'll start a weapon here as a tool. Dunk. We need a, uh, yep. Right. We need all the weapons. We can't have Think. them going back. Think. We can't have you handing off anything. I'll just leave my quarter set. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you... <laughs> or you could not come back. That's fine. We can have no, 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 no. Here's my hammer. Listen, you know, we got to have some sort of... No, I understand. Here's my hammer. Give me a deception check. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I feel like you're lying. And you have more weapons on you. If you'd like, I could put, lay my hands on you and then I feel like it might get a little... No, 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 stop it. No, 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 it's fine. I and can't. gross, grimy, covered <laughs> muck rabble holds his arms. Okay, uh, yeah. Gonna, like, pat him down. Uh, pat him down. Uh, pat you down. Um, are you hiding any, uh... The knuckles. The knuckles, and then yeah. where's your dagger? Uh, oh yeah, I guess that's on me too. It's all, they're all just like shoved into pockets of the duster now. Okay, yeah, so he's just gonna pull out all your... I forgot about those, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, your deception check was shitty, so I'm just gonna be like, I know. no, you didn't. <laughs> uh, okay, come on back. Um, and he opens a set of doors with keys. And, and that's what he does. And he brings you to a cell. You pass by a couple empty cells and, um, you see a human male and he brings you to a cell. The human male is wearing, it looks like, um, pretty much prisoner's clothes. Uh, and he's kind of just sitting there. He's kind of, there's like little windows, you know, and he's kind of just like looking out the window and just like pacing. And Grunk here told us about Rabbi, yeah. right? He's a friend with Grunk mm-hmm. right. And he was, was he also a gladiator? Mm-hmm. The, that yes. he, and like, he's the one who did it. Mm-hmm. Okay. He, um, I don't know if Grunk here told you what place he got in or anything. No, right. no, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, uh, oh. yeah. Uh, hey, uh, buddy, Rabar, uh, we've got a few visitors for you to, to ask you a few questions. And Rabar kind of looks at you all and nods, kind of grunts. Hello, mate. We came from uh, Grunkir. He sends us greetings. Ah, yeah. Grunkir's a good guy. He's a good guy. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's kind of sad guy, but uh, very sad. You know, it's uh, he's got a, a real big heart. Yeah, you know, I, so I was uh, honestly surprised when he said he had a friend. Wow. <laughs> hey, I could see well, that. I could feel like he come off that way. He yeah. keeps himself a lot. So how'd y'all, you know. y'all get in touch with Grunt here? He's not usually either. He's uh, in his closet office, or uh, he's uh, in the underbelly. I guess. Are you all fighters? Uh, so some of these fellows are. Yeah, uh, yeah. We kind of recruited him as our representative. Oh, he does for... that all the time. Right? <laughs> Reverse recruiter. Uh-huh. What can I do for you all? Well, uh, he, he tells us you've been falsely accused of murder, which is yeah. a terrible thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm starting to just feel like this might be my fate, and I just might just die. And. You know, as a charioteer, you always kind of prep your life to just die. So maybe this is the way I do it. Rather, I'd be on a chariot, but what are you going to do? Not much talking, you know, to the law about, they don't listen to me. I'm just, you know, performer. Rabar, was there was there anything <clears throat> that you noticed that day? I mean, I can tell you, uh, yeah, I can tell you a little bit of uh, about what, um, went down that day. Do you have some sort of account you could you I could do. Us? I got yeah. So um 
Mathieu was a uh, was ahead of me probably. I got so I I I uh I got into the city second, so I, I would have gotten second place. Um, if you know, the whole head thing for me being from the body was not a part of the whole race. You know what I mean? Like sure. I would have. And it's not usually part. It's a real downer. That doesn't usually happen. Yeah. You know, we all try to keep our heads. That's not part of the program. Oh, sure. On our bodies. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, I saw him in the field maybe uh, 200 feet ahead. And, uh, you know, it's pretty normal for the Shining Road to have blockages and whatnot. You know, broken down merchant wagons, what have you. Uh, so I, I noticed Mathiel, uh moving to avoid something blocking the road. And this was probably what... Um, so I said he was 200 feet away from me. He was probably a mile out from from the entrance, Lutzen. Uh, so this, so you know, he's swerving to get um, around something in the road. I couldn't really tell what it was. You know, it's far away, but it does require you to get your horse chariot into uh, the sands. We, you know, we're trained to do that anyway. Uh, but yeah, he, he then I saw weird. I saw someone hop from the wreckage. Uh, onto the chariot and he swerved off um into this uh very rocky obscure area um right outside you know about did i already say it was 200 feet from me uh, and yes. then maybe a mile out from yes, yeah, yeah i just want to make sure that i'm really getting that yeah, information are, very clear yeah, yeah. uh very unusual behavior for mathiel usually he's uh you know he can probably knock whoever comes on the chariot and, you know he's pretty tough but i didn't feel right about it and i approached the area slowly um you know bua it, he bua was, was behind me um he was third place uh he could never you know catch me and, pff, he's, he's not as good anyway uh so i looked around to see and you know i you know i i wanted i mean feels a good guy he's a good fella so i, I wanted to make sure everything was kosher there and uh that's a new saying in Lisa and also, uh, kosher. Um, you know, uh, Mathiel's a great guy. So I looked around to see if I see anything. And I, I was looking around the desert rocks. I, and I saw, as I was turning the corner to get the rocks, and then I saw in the distance, the chariot was already headed back towards Lisa, back towards the way, um, I guess his body was in the chariot. It wasn't necessarily, the head was somewhere else on the horse yeah, they came they came, they came separated at, yeah at a so by point. the time i got there uh i didn't see much and he had already made his way back to leeds uh so i didn't see much of anything i didn't have time to investigate because i was on a chariot and we were still moving didn't want to lose even though i did was, was dead man was there anything distinct you could see about the the figure that jumped onto his his chair not really uh it was pretty far away. I didn't really see much, but I'm sure that wreckage is still out there. I don't know unless it's been pulled off the road. They uh, do that regularly. What, what kind of a wreckage was it? It looked like just like a merchant cart, kind of like you know, tucked over. Yeah, kind of maybe lost a wheel or something. Hmm. Right. That'd be good. Yeah. But uh, yeah. you know, uh, my friend Bua, who was behind me, might have he might have seen something as well. Uh, so you know where Boo? Boo usually stays. hangs out, man. He's an interesting fella, also. Uh, he usually hangs out at the Broken Chalice, um, where the charioteers regularly drink, or the Underbelly. You know, uh, if you just ask around for him, I'm sure, uh, <coughs> I'm sure you can find him. He's around. And and you don't think this was simply a case of uh, bad feelings between charioteers? I don't, I don't think so, man. Like. Literally, it was just the two of us ahead in the race. So, I mean, it's possible that... I mean, I don't know why you would do it as a charioteer. Hang out and not do the race. And just hang out on, like, a merchant wreckage. And then just try to murder someone. Like, usually charioteers are pretty... We like the race, you know. It's all about the race. And, uh, yeah, people get hurt. But generally, we're not trying to decapitate people. So you don't think... I mean, do you think Mathiel was involved in anything at all, or, or was he just the unfortunate hey man, target? Hey, we all got our secrets. It's possible. Yeah. We all got our secrets. It's definitely possible. Uh, he, he, this is Leitzen. You can get into stuff. 
So, um, so, you know, why do you think it's you in here? Like, who do you think? I think who's being the closest. I was just the closest person there. Next, next person. Next person in line. I think that's it's easiest for them to blame someone that was there and close. Uh, and where'd you say your friend who uh, hangs out? Uh, either the broken, broken chalice, chalice or the underbelly. Um, sometimes you know he'll help. To, he'll do some gladiator fights, but generally, uh, generally getting wasted and gambling. That's what we do on our off time. Oh, uh, one last thing I think. One last question, and it's no big deal. But uh, are you right-handed or left-handed? <laughs> Look at I got a coin over here. Uh, I am right-handed. I'm really quickly going to toss something through the through the bar and see which hand it catches it with. Okay. Uh, what do you hit it? What are you throwing at it? Like a co copper piece. Uh, he. Well, let's see if he can catch it. He might not be good at catching things. Got a five. He's like, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. you just throw a coin <laughs> at me now, man. Does a, does a guard come immediately confiscate it from himself? Uh, no. Right, well, thanks for your, your time, and uh, we'll we'll get you out. Where can you what can you do with that in the prison? We'll get <laughs> so. we'll we'll get you out of here. Oh wow, okay, that would be all right. Well, uh, yep. that would be we'll, we'll do our best here. Like, very nice of yeah. you. Uh, I would appreciate it. I don't want to be in here, and I don't want to die. But also, you have to change your name. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I was born with it. So. Well, I took mine, so. Well, maybe someone. Why do I have to change? Why do I have to change my name? Because <laughs> people keep confusing us. Do they? Yeah. What's your name? Rabble. Rab R. Rabble. Yeah, I can see that. Well, why don't we say I'm prison guy and you're Rabble? Just well, I was gonna yeah. give up your name and make Man, entirely. <laughs> I'm kind of like, you know what? I'm here in this cell forever now, or dead. So really, it doesn't matter what you call me. You're very chill about being yeah. wanted for murder. And I I had my good cries, <laughs> and now you know it's uh, you go through the steps. I just straight know? to acceptance. <laughs> yep, and now it's acceptance. So that's where I am. I've only been here for a day, but it is acceptance. Like, it was a long day yesterday. <laughs> just went straight from denial <laughs> to acceptance. Just immediately. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> Turned on a dime. Yeah. yeah. Um, right, 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 right. Well, uh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Keep your chin up. Appreciate appreciate you guys trying to figure this out. That was wrong. Yeah, of I'm course. I'm surprised. No one really much cares for performers and charioteers and the like so yeah we are definitely not going to steal keys and try and break you out of here i'm sorry today <laughs> huh? Huh? nothing <laughs> gotta go all right <laughs> cool guards. uh so the guard comes back yeah as you're saying that I'm <laughs> uh no the guard comes back and brings it back up. Relax. Hmm. do you guys uh get what uh, you needed uh He's handing now. your weapons yeah. out back, mm -hmm. them back. So you guys feel like you have a um, uh, interesting uh, view on this investigation. I feel like. Um, do you been us? Are you the ones responsible for uh, keeping the roadways clear? Uh, that's actually yeah. The, the, we do. Um, we have. Desert Rangers for that. <clears throat> uh, but that is a branch of the Conservers, yes. But they uh, who's we, the captain of the Desert Rangers? The captain of the Desert Rangers is um, Captain Nick Foley. Venom. That's his nickname. It's a very it's a nickname. intimidating nickname. Uh, yeah. He uh he likes to drink snake venom and like see what happens. Oh. Sounds like Desert Ranger. Yeah, a real wild I don't card. think I know his first name, honestly. He's just been here. Alright, His real uh, name is Tom Hardy. Could be. Uh well I guess uh if you need anything else, let me know. It's interesting. So you guys aren't like personal investors. you aren't like we're, yeah, I mean, well, this really isn't any of your business, so we'll 
We'll, we'll just set out now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I gave your weapons back. You are very verbally face palming. <laughs> <This guy's, laughs> don't worry about it, man. Cool. So you leave the conservers post. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to go see if that wreck wreckage is still there. Yeah, it's, it's still early in the morning, right? Yeah. There's nothing else to do. Let's go check it out. Okay. Mm. You're going to go to the Shining Road. Yes. Yeah. Out the entrance of the leaf, the front entrance. Of the just like right outside the gates. Okay. A little bit. Uh, give me a perception check. Are you just looking for wreckage? We we'll want to find the site for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess just kind of take the path of mm -hmm. wherever the chariot race was found. You said perception. Mm -hmm. Ten. Good. One. Six. Plus six. Plus seven. Sorry. Oh no. Perception. You got a ten. You got a six. You got a what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The 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 wreckage which is on the main road, so it'd be not very hard I to find. I got ten. I got ten. He said it was a mile out. I... So can you, like, you guys you can, like, be a mile out, out with a ten? <laughs> um, I would say yeah. You see the road. There's probably some wreckage some at some point. Are you just going to continue to walk? Um. Let's see. And because like this was the same road, like they. This is the road they came in on, so we know that it's gonna be along this path. And I... as you are walking, as you are seeing, uh, going on the shining road, I will say, with a 10, you guys' 10 together, um, you guys kind of barely can see that there's over on the left as you're leaving Leedson, um, I guess it would be the east Leeds, Leedson, um, you do see people starting to set up for like a party like there's tents oh, starting okay. to be put up and stuff like that so i'm gonna plug a leaf from my shawl okay and put some uh bonnie weed in there okay and just start rolling it up all right so sierra's doing drugs i'm gonna light it on fire yes. and inhale and it's gonna be pleasant Seriously. must use heat to activate right, right. Remember, important ingredient, fire. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to look at whoever's questioning me and say, it's, it's for my hips. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is anybody uh, questioning her? <laughs> I've kind of Rebel, like, Rebel, like, holds his hand out for some. You're Gary is questioning I'm her? not quite. I'm just like, when the, I mean, we're, you... we're looking for this thing. I was just wondering why you're choosing this moment right now to, like, light up a doobie. city walls or... Yeah, and are you like, are you going to share? Uh, are you giving up on the search? Or no, I'm just following along. I'm old, and I don't need your. I don't need. When that I say you're old, me. I get in trouble. But it's. <laughs> I think Sierra's allowed to say she's old <laughs> herself. Sierra, you're That's also right. an outdoorsy person. Do you think maybe we, from what? Rabar was describing this uh, rocky outcropping that he disappeared at. It has to be along this road. Uh, do you think between the two of us we could uh, perhaps try and figure out where that might be? Maybe search, switch the search to the rocky outcropping. Can we do, can we do survival? Yeah. Are you, so are you going to walk you, a do mile? You good, do you have good survival? Yeah. We're definitely going to walk. Yeah. Okay. And um, does Sierra have good survival? Yeah. Can I, can we do the help yeah. action? So you're walking down the shining road, some merchants pass, some people walking down the road to and from 16 for survival. Yeah. Just um, to like, maybe, maybe like focus on like landscape mm -hmm. and where it, rather than like just what I can see, just kind of narrowing down like with, that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. With your survival of 16, you would know when a mild kind of marker would hit. Um, and you reach that area and you do see, um, like a few rocky areas, um, of desert rock, red rock. Um, and, uh, is there anything specific? What else are you looking for? Um, did he say anything else? Maybe you don't see, I will say like you don't the... see any wreckage where on this road right now as you were walking. How far away are the, these out? I mean, the outcroppings couldn't have been that far away off the road to make this quick change. No, it was, they're, they're like, um, I don't know, maybe 20 feet. All right, well, I'm going to investigate back there and see if I see okay, any so signs you go of into recent, the areas. Uh, yeah. yeah, sure. Because this is only yesterday, right? Oh, it's been a few days. Yeah, it's been a couple days. But still, not that long. So, I mean, it's or even sand. any, like, has it and rained? it's windy, probably. Oh, it's windy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to look. 
Or even any, like, cave openings or anything oh, like that. Yeah. Like, where someone could... I'm investigating. Right. If anyone else would like to investigate, because yeah. I'm not very sharp. Me neither. Okay. Group oh. investigating. 16. Okay. 9. Okay. Is uh, anybody else investigating? Uh, sure. Uh, 13. Okay. And, um... Can I do perception? It, from where we're at, now that we're a mile out, is mm -hmm. do we still see the folks that are setting up for a big party? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a little, it's like behind a little bit and back, but yeah, over on the side. Okay. Um, okay, cool. I suppose I'd, um, could I keep an eye out on like elemental dangers? Like, uh, for example, like any random... Just kind of like keeping an eye, not let necessarily investigating for the stuff, just keeping an eye on like the environment. Sure. Cool? Yeah. Like a 17 perception for me. Just, just in general, kind of yeah, keeping an so eye as, as they're investigating. Yeah, as you're investigating, I mean, you got the highest investigation as a 16. I mean, so the one thing that is about investigating the desert is that it is windy and it's open. Um, I will say that as you're looking at these rocks, though. You don't necessarily find any, like, specific caves or entrances necessarily, but there are places to hide. There are, you know, there's ways to t duck into... Little, like, alcoves. Yeah, stuff. like, it's not... Um, and as you search around for that, I mean, you don't really see anything much of a significance. I, I, no sp sprays of dried blood say or a person might have been decapitated and with blood this, spewing you know, everywhere. <laughs> with a 16, I would... It on this red desert rock. Yeah. I, After a couple days. Yeah. yeah. All right. I guess finding blood on red rocks would be really hard, right? Does anybody have a UV light? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, Rabble has one. Yeah, well, I mean, your eyes oh, are yeah. kind of UV lights. Perfect, right up my butt. I have it. <laughs> That's Let's fair. Let's get this UV light out. Well. Yeah. You ready to yeah. go talk to Boo? Yeah, maybe. maybe. He's got some more information for us. Sure. Kind of a dead end out here. What to know? Do we think there's any uh, any threat or sense of coincidence? The fact that this ambush took place here, and we can see from where we're standing the tents of the party we're going to this evening. Nah, <laughs> it's probably <laughs> fine. Uh, well, I feel like if this was the location from which they were going to mount some sort of ambush. Uh, Perhaps they would be here by now. Yeah, I'm just wondering why. I don't know. It is a good point, though. Yeah. The, the visibility of the party from here. It could be a, It could very well be a rallying point of some sort if they are planning to make some sort of attack. Well, there have also been all sorts of caves and tunnels underground, and maybe there's some kind of like point of entity in this yeah. area. That's, that's what I was yeah. hoping we might find right now. But uh, I think we found what we're going to find. Okay. Make way back to Leedson? Yeah, we want to go stop by the Broken Chalice, see if it was over. Sure, why not? Get some lunch. Sure. Uh, let's take a quick break. Sounds good. Yeah. Quick break now.
uh, cool. So you head back into the leets, into leets in the city, where all the uh, festival festivities are still going on. Um, you what, heading toward? What's the weather like today? Is it? We've been walking all. The around. weather? Um, it's. It's weather. <laughs> it's dry. It's a little cloudy. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of windy. Probably maybe like a cool 78. Here's another question. So, nice. uh, wh where's the, where's the river in regard to the city? Would, could we have seen perhaps it's, uh, like as we were walking out on the shining road, would we've seen it off to the right or the left? No, it's past the river. So if you look on the map, um, there's the Talisman River. I guess you might. Oh, it was on the other, it would be on it's the other side. It's on the other side. Okay. It's kind of further away, yeah. But if, if we were walking out this way and I looked on the left, maybe. You might. Okay. All right. Maybe. See, but I mean, that map is not. To scale, really. To scale at all. Just curious. So you're heading to the Broken Chalice? Sure. Or the Underbelly. Which one? Which one would we hit first? Mm -hmm. Broken Chalice. Yeah. Let's do it. Have we been there yet? Have we uh -huh. been to the Broken Chalice? Yeah. Let's go somewhere. Where Where did we go where we met? Oh, I can't even remember his name. The Minotaur? Yeah. I'll, I was. I, I had his belt. He's oh, outside Mold? of some Mold. random... Thunderhoof? Yeah. Or... Yeah, he was a, He was just getting drunk outside uh, in one of the, like... It's uh, like a beer garden or something. It was like, yeah, it was like yeah. a pop-up beer garden situation. That's right. Okay. Um, uh, so, the Broken Chalice is in... It's near the Grand Coliseum. It's kind of in... in the, one of the Thanks. so the coliseum's in the middle of the city, so there's a road around it, and there are local bars and taverns, and that's you can find the broken cows pretty easily. Right. And it's surprisingly still, it's it's still popping probably from overnight. It's you know there's a lot of people there. There's some people uh, passed I, out on the bar. And... I'm i uh, out of uh, reflex. Uh, Gary's gonna duck when he walks through the door. <laughs> okay. Because you fell one time, what, I can't... no, a tide's far hello. Oh, oh right, yeah. yeah. Every time you go in, yeah, no one, yeah. no one throws a bottle at you. Yeah, it's got a surprise. It's like yeah. what's wrong with these people? Yeah. I'll look at Gary. Do you want me to throw one at you just to, to make you feel know. comfortable? Maybe. All right. I'll grab it. I'll just grab a brand of bottle off a table and throw it right over Gary's head. Uh, Can I make a dexterity check? Yeah. Try to catch it. <laughs> Are you gonna try and catch it? Yeah. Uh, seven. Uh, whoa. Just, just general dexterity. Eight. No. It hits you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, caught it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, so yeah, That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, there's, a, there's people in here. There's a, there's a bartender behind the counter. It is a... Uh, you can tell this is more like a touristy situation. Oh. Like, um, there's like um, murals of old, you know, gladiator fights and like charioteers and stuff like that. Um, there's like a golden chariot wheel behind the bar. Um, How big is this golden okay. chariot wheel? <laughs> it's big. I mean, it's a, uh, how big are the, I mean, chariots are, I mean, it's probably. About as big as rabble? Probably. Like, uh, uh, three feet. Yeah, probably use, as big as you. Can, and it's behind the bar up on the wall. I could use a new bed frame. Bed frame. <laughs> a bed frame. Like first circular bed. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah, uh, there's a there's a human woman behind the bar. Uh, and does it look like these are tourists here? Um, for the most part. It's, it seems like a mix. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, we'll go up to the. Do we see anyone who looks like a, a, a charioteer? Obviously? There are a few people that look like they're professional. They're still in their like leather, um, uh, gladiator okay. garb and stuff like that. They're putting their feet up, kind of stretching their feet. You gross, taking their sandals off and. Um, 
Of all the smells gross, like, all the gross like, things we've interacted with. Smells like sticky <laughs> Cherry tears. Yeah. Can I go up to the bartender? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, what can I get for you? Yeah, hi. Um, Hello. So I'm actually looking for somebody. Okay. Um, you know somebody, uh, Cherry Tear, by name name of Bua? Yeah, Bua. Yeah, he's here. Tear. He's in here quite often. Uh, I don't know if I've seen him today. Um, he usually comes in here around lunchtime. Um, okay. And right now it's like morning. So. Um, all right. <clears throat> what do you, do you guys want to try the, uh, underbelly? Sure. Well, we still well, need we could... to do some, like, fights too, right? Like to. It's up to you guys. You still have a couple that. days. To... This, this bartender wouldn't know. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, really? Do you think Yeah. Yep. I don't know your schedule, but that makes sense. <laughs> right. It's a blood, um, blood fest. Yeah. Okay. We could do that to kill some time if mm-hmm. we wanted to, or at least look for Boo over. Yeah, the usually Boo but... doesn't wake up until, you know. Oh. Yeah, he's usually uh, not out till lunchtime. Okay. Heavy drinker and a late sleeper. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, I right. guess if your job isn't until, like, you know, afternoon or evening. You know, or it's like, you know, is it really a job? <laughs> wow. It's kind of yeah, messed I mean, up with the... <laughs> Yeah, I don't care. As long as I serve them, I don't care. So, so like you a know bartender. How I feel about it. So like a bartender, they a... hate their patrons. <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, it's pretty normal, honestly. Right. right. It's just like, oh no, these guys, these guys all suck. It's okay. Yeah, <laughs> cocky and have a lot of ego. Right. But, so, uh, I serve them. So that still means we got some time to kill if he's not maybe going to be awake for a while. And yeah. is it, but is it a fight in now at the underbelly this time of day? I guess it is so. kind of... There's a tip in you if you answer. Oh, you're talking to the bartender now? I guess so. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. I don't work there. I work here. Yeah, but maybe, you know, it's good oh, there's fighting over the, the other place. I mean, it, it is a, like, a festival that's going on right now. Yeah. There's a lot of fighting. Mm. So you don't, uh, like, go down to the underbelly and, mm-hmm. like, watch fights occasionally? I don't. I find it disgusting. Ah, yeah. uh, but I... Mm-hmm. It is disgusting. Yeah, it's pretty gross. <laughs> More of an academic type. You know, I, I moved here for... Uh, let me tell you my life story. <laughs> What's your here, name? I moved here. My name is Cassandra. And I moved here... Wow. Do you go by Cass? Cass or just Cassandra? I go by... Sandra? Sass. Sandy? Sandy? Sass? Sass. 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 I'm sassy. It's a, it's, a, it's a soft C. Yeah, it is. But it's not. It's Cassandra. But everybody's like, oh, that's Sass. Cassandra. Sassy, sassy Cassie. Eh? Yeah, Sassy Cassie. Eh? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, so my life story is this. I moved here <laughs> roughly, you know, five-ish years ago uh-huh. with uh, an ex of mine. Oh, uh, you know, uh, what was his story? name? His name <laughs> was, uh, Walter, and, um, yes, Walter and I just didn't work out, but I found myself yeah. here still making pretty good money, you know? People mm. tip well. It's a pretty touristy t- town, city, you know, so... I just, I'm sticking around trying to keep some extra cash and uh, maybe move the heck out of here. Great. What, well, are, your, what were your parents <laughs> like? My parents are dead. I'm so sorry for your loss. But uh, importantly, though, is Walter still here? Walter is also dead. Oh, okay. Don't ask. <laughs> so is that why it didn't work out? <laughs> the people surrounding you seem to die mysteriously. <laughs> We oh, discovered. Just... <laughs> we discovered a whole side mission. <laughs> put us through. It feels like we feels like we just hit a series of dialogue prompts in the game, and we ended up on a side mission somehow. Let's uh, let's put a pin in that. <laughs> we'll come back to this another time. Oh, I feel like she's not going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> serial killers usually find them hunting grounds yeah, and right? settle in, you know. <laughs> Until someone gets on her tail, and then she's out. Yeah. Come back Just saving Sanders up gone. money and bodies. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, we'll just try to stack bodies. I mean, cash. <laughs> Will, uh, <laughs> great. Is there anything else? Fantastic. I want to know you. Uh, I'll Breakfast. have, I'll have the, the golden wheel. Oh, how much money you got? <laughs> how much? How much you asking? I mean, that's gold. how much money do you have? I mean, it's not fully gold it's painted yeah i, I oh i figured so really it's, it's just like okay it's gold plated wait painted wait there's gold paint right yeah yeah i'll offer you the cost just ask for gold paint 
I'll offer you the cost of I mean, sharing. like actual gold. You know, oh, like gold plate? Gold. Well, I think that's gilding. Let's really get into this. So, I think it's gold it's gilding. Gold dipped. Sure, it's, it's a gold, gold dipped. It's gold gilded. Okay, so there is gold on it. Yeah. Okay. To come to get me. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you guys need? I'm <laughs> stuck in the back real quick. <laughs> no, no, no. You go ahead. Knock in the back. <laughs> I'm taking the gold wheel with me. <laughs> How much sweat do you have? I'm legitimately asking. Do you want this gold wheel? How much would you offer me for this gold wheel? 20 gold pieces. That's not a lot. It's a lot of wages in a town like this. How would you know? But it would be gold. It would be gold going from decorating the walls on the place that you were, to being gold in your pocket. Uh, give me a persuasion check with disadvantage. Um, but I'm also yeah. Gonna... Go ahead. Wait, is there something we have? Is man? Is there something you'd like to say? I'm just gonna tap my. Do, would you like my new team? claws on the thing and Turn just intimidate? No, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, kind of. Okay, give me an intimidation check. But with like an innocence on my face, obviously. It's not, it's oh. not a thing. That's not a thing when you're intimidating people. Innocently intimidated. Oh. Yeah, you cannot innocently intimidate. That is not. Oh shit! Oh darn! I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Oops! I said be, it. Could this be deception since I lied about how much gold I have? Yeah, how much? You don't have that much. Okay. I have eighty gold. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, uh, so with disadvantage, it's still going to be a 16. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Rabble just wants some random crap. They say, okay, come here. You meet me later tonight. I will meet you in the alleyway out back, and I will deliver this golden wheel. However, you do not get it from me. Of course not. You don't know what happened to it. No you idea. don't know me. You don't know my name? You don't know, you don't know how many bodies I have? I'm just, uh, <laughs> I have. Hey, hey, Cassandra. You give me that VM? I'll tell you how it's. Okay. Wait, I don't have any. I mean, of course not. Hide the money. Hide the money. I just might have to get it out of town now. You know what I mean? And that's. Sure. No, hey, you know, that sometimes. Any extra gold could really bring me over the top. Oh, uh, yeah. Really? I feel like you make that in the day. A lot of it goes back into business, you know. <laughs> At least if it's a healthy business. Yeah, I'm... Um... So, yeah. Deal. Right? Deal. Deal. Whoosh. Gross. Okay. Alright, uh... <laughs> so do we want to go... Yeah, that's... <laughs> somewhere else. Uh... Are you thinking underbelly, or... Right if you want to fight... Let's do your... Well, I mean, we could... If yeah. you want to fight, we can go to the underbelly. If not, I can go track down this fellow. Well, we can fi fight and you go track down the fellow. Mm. You don't like our fighting anyway. That's true, I don't. It is early in the morning, so you've got plenty of time for both. Or we can come along. You can come along. You know, I, I have. he might have some sort of insight into this whole business with the headless charioteer. The case of the headless charioteer real proud of yourself for that one. <laughs> did you notice? No one said that. Did you notice that Rabar was right-handed? I'm just saying. Was he? Statistically. <laughs> he said he was, and he kind of grabbed for that copy Pretty good with his right hand. Percentage that he would be. Yeah, yeah I don't, I'm not picking up what you're saying now. What was the point of telling us that? Maybe it's I'm really dumb. Clue. Maybe this clue. isn't as obvious as you think it is. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so you head to the Torch and Shadow. The Torch and Shadow. Great, and that is an old town. Okay. Um. So yeah, you head through. Uh. You. It's. It's not. Um. It's. Uh. So and you know, as you head from the Coliseum, it's a short walk. Um. It's. Uh. Right on the outskirts of the Sand Markets, you do see a place called the Torch and Shadow, and they've got like um. Uh, the outside is just pretty typical, but there is kind of like smoke coming out of the doorway and the windows and stuff like that. You can see, uh, it's a hooker lounge. Oh, for that part. Yeah. Uh, so, um, and they, they have open windows, like, you know, like, in the, you know, in like nicer weather areas, they don't, they can 
right. just leave their windows open. So yeah, you head in. Um, there is, you do, let me get a perception check. Okay. It's, it is kind of a, it's a long, you know how you enter like a, a storefront and it's long. Right. It's, yeah. It goes pretty long. So it's pretty, it's a relatively big. And this is be- like, we're leading up to the festival. Mm-hmm. Are there lots of people in the streets and also maybe in this? Yeah, too? there's, yes. People in the streets. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, 18. Just him, because he's looking for a specific person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Well, I'm, um, I'm looking for an outside. I don't know what he looks Yeah, you are. You are looking for an outside. Um, so, yeah. You see so tucked kind of in the corner, all the way in the back. Um, kind of near more of like a... There is a, a fire pit back there. Um, and you... Uh, yeah, you see one. Uh, an outside. Uh, male outside. That uh, uh, is smoking, smoking a hookah. Uh, uh, are they with anyone? Uh, no, they're, they're by themselves. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of people in here. There's like cushy seating. It's real nice. It's uh, uh, deep purples, like curtains and um, beads hanging from the uh, the ceiling. And there is a seder behind the... It's kind of like a bar where you can walk up and ask what you, what you would like to smoke and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So there is a seder, a female seder behind the bar with a... a a buzz cut they seem like a little older but of a satyr they're a little over four feet tall um they have horn tips made of um desert stone and they wear like a long lavender flowing cotton gown and you do see a long gold chain with a charm at the end of it um around her neck uh <laughs> what i'm not there <laughs> Are, are you, you not there? You, 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 oh, oh, I guess I am there. Oh, sorry. Okay. We all were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I thought this was a, a Gary solo. No. I don't think people came along. Oh. Okay. You're welcome to come along. No. So, yeah, you, and then the outfit that you see, he's dressed pretty minimal. Um, his uh, tentacle hair is well, just flowing. Um, he does look a little grizzled. A little older. A little, yeah, a little bit, a little older. Um, and looks like he has been in fights. He looks kind of, he looks... I mean, but he is a magic user, so it's kind of... Do I get the vibe when I walk in that I'm supposed to check in and buy something, or I can just go back and meet a friend? Uh, I mean, you are in an establishment. I mean, just a was... moral code, it yeah. might be nice. But, I mean... Well, sometimes, that... sometimes a coffee shop, you walk in, you see your friend, you go over and say... Oh, yeah, and that, I don't think there would be anything. I was going to grab a table. Okay. Yeah. Grab your table. You guys are welcome to join. Sure. Sure. And preferably, if I can tell which direction he's headed in that direction. Okay. You want to get a table next to the... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to first go up to the the Seder Mm -hmm. and and, uh, order a round for for Harrison. Okay. Yeah. Uh, What do I want the Seder to sound like? Yeah. Um, Way down here. (laughs) I almost was thinking that. Uh, Good morning. Um, oh, no, uh, is this a bad time? It's a cat cut your tongue. Uh, hey. <laughs> this is a smoke shop, so. Oh, all right. What, what can I do for you on this pleasant day? This pleasant morning? Well, uh, I don't smoke myself, but uh, I have a friend oh, back really? there. My, uh, Interesting. Ha- you just find yourself here. It's funny how fate will do that. Yeah, you know, the, the, the winds of The fate. universe has ways to bring us to where we need to be. Too true, too true. Uh, but I would like to get a, a round for my friend over there, the uh, Herzen. Oh, uh, Herzen? Yeah. Okay, yeah. He's uh, he's in the morning time, he's a dwarven tar kind of person. Mm-hmm. And uh, in the afternoon, he does partake in a little bonny weave. So, yeah, if you'd like some dwarven tar, we can get that loaded up for you no not for me it, this is just get it right. around i yeah. mean giving it to you right. to bring yes all right yeah. yeah yeah uh and give me a perception check while you're talking about it mm-hmm. okay. um you you're kind of she's like getting this uh tobacco ready in a little pouch um you see like you you kind of look at the gold chain and the charm and she's mm-hmm. just like you're just glancing at it um it looks like a miniature version of the torch, which is um, in downtown Leeds, it's in uptown actually. Um, you see it; it's it, it's tower towers over the green, it towers over the entire city. Um, it's made out of so this necklace is kind of made out of silver, with a citrine crystal at the top, and then you do notice 
that this small crystal seems to be shining just a little too much. Um, maybe it has some sort of magical quality to it. That's a lovely uh, piece of jewelry oh, over there. Thank you. Does it have some sort of uh, history? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, sort of. Uh, so I, uh, I don't know, have you visited the torch at all? No, not yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you know, they, there's uh, stories about why why it's here. You know, it's, it's been a landmark since before Leeds. Uh, it's been here for, you know, it's lived with us and through us uh, and within us and all around us, you know. Yes, we're all heard, connected. Yeah. Yes, we're all connected. And uh, yeah, so I just, uh, it has a connection with the old world. Um, there's, uh, it's an old testament to, um, the rainforest that, that used to be uh, here. Um, but I... Give me an insight check. Insight check. Oh, I don't even need to add in. Uh, it's, it's going to be probably negative. It's zero. Uh, you don't... You can't, you can't read her. Is this the bartender? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, out of curiosity, would I know what it was? Just like, from like a history check? The or... torch? No, like the... She's talking about the rainforest, right? Yeah, yeah, you, um, yeah, if you want to do a history check for me, you totally can. Or if you're there standing next to the, yeah, well, yeah if you're hearing this information, yes. Kind of the table. Uh, yeah, and you know, I know, you know, <sighs> magic, you know, isn't uh, necessarily, like, chill here in Leedson, but there's got to be some sort of magical qualities to those that are open to this torch, you know, uh, but, yeah. Give me a 23. 23, and then give me an insight check while you're standing. So with the 23, uh, dirty 20. you would know, so she could possibly, you, you only, this is like fable time to you. Like you've only heard of, um, you've heard of, excuse me, let me, uh, you've heard of the rainforest goddess Blythe. And you've heard of this because... Um, they're Salomar. But that's about as much as, even with the 23, you're like, that's, that seems like it's a fable. It's a myth. You don't, you've never seen any proof. You've never really talked to anybody about it. What did you get for insight? Dirty 20. So with your insight check, you can tell as she's talking about the crystal, she seems worried. And, um, kind of scared, like a mixture of the two that she's talking about. Would it like. seem like a, a scared of magic? Um, you, well, with the, you got a dirty 20? With the dirty 20, when she's talking about magical qualities to those that are open and the crystal and everything, you could tell it maybe you have something to do with the crystal itself. Maybe there's something wrong or, um, yeah, that's kind of what you're vibing on. And this is terrible. Have we really been introduced to the torch? Like, have no, we, you haven't really gone, gone by it. We haven't visited mm -hmm. to know like its lore, history. Mm -hmm. okay. But it, it, is it like? Does it look? What does it look like? So the torch is a an obelisk. See it, right? Yeah, you see it. You see it all the time. Okay. It's an obelisk with a. It's like a. It's made of redstone obelisk, and it's. Careful. <laughs> it's like hundreds of feet uh, tall, or yeah, it's like a hundred feet tall, and uh, there's a big purple crystal that does illuminate. Okay. Um, and no one's been able to explain why or how. It's it's huge. It's huge. Okay. Too large for a gnome to carry. <laughs> too definitely I mean, too large for, for a, a, a sorry a zucchini. Wow. A zucchini. Zucchini. <laughs> zucchini to carry. <laughs> How do you, is it zucchini or shukini? Zucchini. Zucchini, though. Zucchini! <laughs> That's uh, what we call our people. I, right, anyway. I am one so of the you, the you get a read off of this. <laughs> um, but she's not sure, and I guess with your insight also, she's not sure how cool you Who's are <laughs> with magic and talking about it. So she's not, she, you can tell that she feels a little uncomfortable to mention whatever she's feeling. Cool. I'm going to put my hand on uh, Gary's shoulder and say, oh, go on to your friend, dear. And then I'm going to sit with her okay. instead of going to a table. Okay. Is this a thing? I'm hanging out. Gary? 
No. What? <laughs> <laughs> She's a fine looking fella. And she is a very old gay lady. <laughs> she is. Extremely gay. Um, um, extremely old. <laughs> extremely old. Uh, let's cut to you going over. Yeah, so I'm going to grab the little thing. I don't know how it works and carry it over and. Uh... Yeah, it's just a pouch of tobacco. Okay. But it's not like packed into a little receptacle. Or no, he got the package. Let's do a deep dive on this part right now. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll approach you know politely and say, "Oh, hello." I almost did your accent. <laughs> um, hello. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of give him the nod too, like what, uh, like another Assad. Can I? Yes. Yes. I see that you're also Assad. Yeah. yeah. Um, what can I? I just, you know, I, I was, uh, I, people mentioned that you were from the city and, and you uh, were a noted figure, and I don't see a lot of other type here. And I just thought I'd say, stop by and say hello and have a quick word if it's all right with you. Yeah, this. I brought this for you. Oh, why, thank you. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, perfect timing. Uh, and he starts to pack a pasinka. So you probably, uh, I, I've been known to be known around here. Is that why? Well, yes. I just had a few questions. Uh, what? How, how no, do you see much of us around in the desert situation. No, oh, and that's that's my first question. It's like, yeah. how do you deal with being a, a, away from water for so long? You know, it takes. Uh, I've been in Leeson for. Oh boy. How long has it been? I don't even remember. Long time. Can I make an insight check? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, the, the river. There's a river. Uh, I don't... Uh, you, you kind of get used to it. The weather and, and how it affects you. I, You know, I didn't really grow around... Grow up much around water. Like a lot of water. Uh, I, I was mainly a mainland, but river guy. Um... But that's uh, another reason why I'm sure you know that I I, I do magic. People people know less. Uh, yeah. So that's a little bit of reason why I wanted to do storm storm stuff. You know, really mm -hmm. like to dabble in um, making it rain. You know, you know to make. Right. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't know how to wink. Or um, doesn't know how to uh, <laughs> wink. My insight check is, I'm a little worried about my background things sinister from it and just i want to kind of appraise him and see if there are any signs of, of sinister forces that are saudi related oh um Do you know what i'm saying yeah i can understand what you're saying would that allow me to roll inside with advantage for that specific yeah sure issue yeah. just to identify signs of things like that. Sure. um that's still not great 11. Um, as far as you can tell, it, he seems pretty chill. There's no, um, he has been, it seems like he's telling the truth about him being here for a while okay. and not growing up necessarily in the water, um, okay. near the water, near much water. Right. Um, but, uh, he will, uh, notice that you're kind of, uh, looking at him a little bit. Yeah. Like, um. I, I just, I don't understand how you can, Lobrand is very anti-magic, how you can just openly exist yeah. here. So, um, yeah, I basically, when I was in trouble, I really just got in trouble with, uh, Rebel Inc. Um, and they basically were like, you know, if you take it any farther, we're definitely going to get the church involved, which if you think about it, it's pretty funny because they never want to get the church involved. So basically they were like, don't do that anymore. You're causing too much of a scene. We can't have you fighting with us anymore, even though, you know, I was an excellent fighter and, uh, I... People enjoyed it and came out for me specifically. I still get requests from fans, but you know, um, I Rebel Inc. kind of put me under the radar. Well, you were attracting too much of the wrong type of attention for them, as far mm -hmm. as concerned. Yeah, the I was winning fights with magic, and that was not so great. And I hope this doesn't seem like for I'm Leeds and I mean, you know, the church is really trying to. We're really trying to get in the way of Lipson's whole thing so and Rebel Inc. And so it like seems. Um, this this might sound like a, a stupid question, but uh, I was not raised in a city with other people, so I didn't you know how things go. But 
where do where do you, your powers come from? Do you know? Oh, my powers. Um, yeah, it was more of a, like an innate thing. Um, I, uh, I, uh, I, I, I. So I was part of. I don't know if you like to discuss your past with the tribes and everything. My family was from the Stillwater tribe, the Kani. Mm. Kaani, excuse me. Uh, and um, we had generations ago moved away from from our homeland as you the, the, the so that's why i'm saying i'm not i'm not grown up near water necessarily uh but no i um it was more of an innate thing i i stumbled across um uh, uh magic arcane uh source um and i kind of just went from there how mysterious mm -hmm. Source, you mean like a like a an object or a person yeah, or... Uh, and he'll uh, he'll kind of yank at a chain on around his neck. Very curious, but you don't you don't sense some sort of uh, say distant power who lives in a cave covered in its own filth, granting you your abilities. Man, that sounds like crazy town. Just, just um, asking. No, um, mine's weather based. Really, it's well, all all weather based. It's really, just, I cause storms and use lightning. And well, it's very like that. handy. That's pretty fun. Hmm, it's very interesting. Do you I, ever, do you ever go back? You you're talking about it, something that is in the underground and like dirty. Is that? I don't know exactly. It seems like it's some sort of beastie that's like has some ancient. I don't know where it came from. Yeah, there's a lot of ancient magic powers, and uh, no matter how much no one wants to talk about it, Lawbrand is full of it. Uh, we've got hundreds and thousands of mysterious magical phenomena going on all around us every day, uh, and you know the church trying to push that Pretend out. Pretend like it's not there. Yeah. It's. I. I. Here's my thing. I don't know if it's going to happen before I die, but uh, it'll be found out. And I, I, I think I, personally, for me, I'd love to see it if I when I was still alive. But you know, magic finally being accepted, and um, you know, it's crazy that our kind of academy, you know, that they're doing it sort of. But it's like you know, what's the it's kind of lame because it's with the church, so they're being over, you know, overseen and can't actually. Do magic. It can do, it can so, do so much good, though. I don't understand why they're trying to keep that yeah. back from the people. Yeah, and I did do a really great job of like uh, being an example of that. Necessarily, uh, I was a showman, so you know that's. Uh, but yeah, it can be used. I can create water. Whatever. That could be very helpful. Mm -hmm. Things like this. That's very interesting. Do you ever go to the gatherings? I don't know. My family uh, left, uh, like I said, generations and generations. Should have closed that curtain. Yeah. Uh, you know, generations to generations of. Um, so you're not in touch with that part of the. No, I my parents um. Uh, and their parents and their parents before that didn't really. Mesh well, with the. I don't know if you know anything about the Kami tribe, or anything. It's not it's smaller, a lot smaller than um. The other two <laughs> that I Gary makes the same face. <laughs> <laughs> that I can't remember right well, now. Well, but they're not Dagger Mall, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I'm not. I'm no pirate. So, uh, yeah. So, um, no, we don't. We don't do any gatherings. I know about them. Do people still do those? I feel like it's yeah, the old every school. year. Yeah. Get everyone together. Never been to one. Probably it's very nice. Will. You should try it once. Is it? It is. It's very fun. It's very peaceful and friendly, and just a. Is it? It's like a big. It's like a festival. I've heard it's. Uh, I've heard there could be some interesting things that happen out there, though. Well, it could happen anywhere. It's true. Speaking of which, that was my last. I don't mean to take up all of your afternoon, no, but I'm. I literally. See, I'm, you're a man on the go, and. Uh, I'm pretty much retired, so. Very good. Definitely. Do you? Do you have any insight into this this weird uh, decapitation that happened? Oh man, uh, Matthew. Yeah. Yeah. Did you uh, know him? Not really. Uh, I just know from you know knowing Revelink and some people, small small friends and stuff. Ah, oh, that's 
Never, in my whole time, never seen anything that weird. Um, but I don't know Mithril well, real well, but I did, you know, I did hear that he uh, hung out a lot at the Leeds and Baths um, and uh, the recreational areas uh, there for a while, which is pretty normal. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, actually, I was just, I uh, just saw Bua um, a, couple oh, did days, you? a couple days ago. Yeah. Uh, he was mentioning uh, someone got taken in for the uh, yes, yes, uh, crime or whatever. Do you know uh, Robert? Uh, just by name, yeah. yeah they, they, they fingered him just because he was nearby. I don't, I don't think it had anything to do with it. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Steamy nights. <laughs> um... <laughs> I yeah uh no yeah don't know I don't know much about um that but I did but Bula did say that he was um uh Mathiel was talking regularly to someone um at the Leeds and Baths a woman a recent hire but I don't know anything about it hmm. are they I I would imagine that he's trying to get some if you know what I mean well these nights are very steamy. <laughs> Rabble walks up somewhat. <laughs> huh. uh, but yeah. Well, uh, I don't. I, I wish I could offer you more, but I don't. I really don't. <clears throat> You're not quite part of that world anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Ever since they were like, stop doing cool stuff, I was like, all right, bye. Fair enough. Uh, let's head over to Anna. Yeah. And Seder. I'm uh, gonna pull out my little like glowing um uh, seed thing. Okay. Uh, and set it on the counter and oh, just kinda wow. fiddle with it. And then just say, You seem worried, dear. Oh man, you got some good insight. That's really meaningful to you, to me that you have such an insightful connection with the people around you that's really really meaningful yeah um you know i this the torch is a, you know it's a, it was a lifestyle that i i really truly live by and uh, connections to the old worlds and nature and all that and uh lately i have been i don't know how to explain it but um it feels like the crystal's fading a little bit um I just, I don't feel its uh, activity as deeply as I usually do. Um, I do kind of search that premises every now and then to just walk around the torch, see if I can, like, you know, inside anything or find anything. I, I haven't had any much luck, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty worried about what it would do to people connected to the world, or not the world, the, the earth and uh, uh you know, the magic, the, the natural magical qualities of it. So, I mean... Have you seen it fade, or is it just a feeling? It's been happening for... I don't know. I've noticed it for about a few days. Um, and uh, I just... It, it, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a feel. It's like a feeling, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you seem pretty connected so like if you have any insight if you wanted to go check it out um i would definitely be interested in uh, exchanging some sort of goods if you wanted to see what you can find uh i'm yeah. i'm super privy to you know helping out the community in any kind of mm -hmm. way you know and then we help you help me out and it's it's a whole vibe uh yeah i'll check it out and uh my name's kobo by the way kobo with a c with this K, K Kobo. What's your oh. name? Sierra. Sierra. You seem unsure. <laughs> Is that a question? She uh, old. <laughs> um Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look. Yeah, if you uh if you find anything out, please come back and are there others know. that are interested in this? We generally keep a little profile. But yeah, there are a couple other people that uh, you know we we got all these uh, and and maybe maybe my connection is um, through this necklace I also wear. Uh, but uh, yeah, we generally keep it keep our uh, keep it down low. Keep keep it quiet. 
Um, even though, you know, Leeson's pretty relaxed about certain things, the church could be anywhere at any time. Uh, okay. Um, so do all of you have those necklaces? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Here, I keep it out because uh, people know that this is a welcoming and inclusive environment. Um, but generally, in the public eye, I won't wear it openly. Uh, have any of your other pals with the cool necklaces? Uh, have they been feeling the same? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've we've had many meetings about it, but there's been... We're just not all, um, like, as our magical capabilities are very natural and only happen every now and then. And, uh, so we're, we don't have really, we're, you know, we, this is all by feel and nature. We don't really know how to wrangle it yet and use it and, and like bottleneck that yet. But, um, if you have more insight on any kind of arcane knowledge, that would be great. Cool. I'll check it out. Did, wait, did you say that uh, the the guy, his friend, um, smoked Bonnie weed? He smokes Bonnie weed. Yeah, we have Bonnie weed here for sure. Uh, then I would I would like to purchase. Some. Oh, great! Yeah, uh, one and eight. <laughs> <laughs> How, what are we looking at here? Yo, uh, good cosplays. Uh, I get the, if you're doing this for me, then I can. I can okay, then I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna take, I guess, the equivalent of a couple days worth, and then uh, give her five gold. And... Oh wow, you really didn't need to. I mean, if you're doing and this then, for me, okay. Um, Thank you. Yeah, cool. Gare. Yeah, well, I don't want to take up all of these fellows. Yeah, sure. uh, if, you, if anything else up, uh, comes up, you know, I. I'm here of my round. Um, I stay over in Old Town. I stay. Uh, oh, I have a hut of mine that I've built with my own two hands. Oh, that's very good. Mm -hmm. Winnie Hut Junior. Uh, when he gestured it that way, which which hand was he using? <laughs> left hand. <laughs> Everyone's left-handed from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's no cool. hands. You didn't use any hands. You did this. <laughs> this with his are, head. Are you just trying to get like a census? Yeah, I don't know. For, <laughs> yeah. for you ask every single person you meet in Leeds and which, which, what's your dominant hand? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Just got tally marks. Left and right hands. Yeah, I'm, uh, well, we, it was very nice speaking with you. Yeah, I'm around, firm. you know. Yeah, and, uh. It was nice to meet you. Well, yeah, I didn't nice your name. Oh, my name's, uh. <laughs> Gary, Gary Bristle. Also seemed unsure, but uh, that's it's fine. I I don't question those things. I nope. Nobody in this party knows. Nobody, has, <laughs> nobody knows their names here. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I'll join rejoin the rest of the party. Um, is anybody else smoking or just Sarah? I didn't even get to Sarah. Go ahead, start on her own. Gravel probably will. He'll try and inflate himself like a balloon. God, how would you do that? <laughs> Sucking on the hookah really hard. <laughs> I feel like that maybe that is Jukine quality, maybe. Yes. <laughs> Elasticity. I can inflate like a balloon. Okay. Or it also... happens. You inflate yourself like a balloon, and Kobo's like, yeah, really take it in. Really take that in. All right. And then whenever he blows it out, he shoots all over the <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was a one slapstick. Thing Loved for... it. What's going on over here? <laughs> Wow. So you're starting shit. So what is... What's up? Do you share the information that you heard? Um... I mean, I think you were... you? You... Were you right there? Uh... I don't know. I don't know where you guys were. Uh, Rabble is just kind of like... I just went and sat at the table that Sarah got for us. I feel like Rabble kind of did that thing where he was just sort of like bouncing back and forth. Like... Okay. Didn't really know what conversation to be part of, so he was just sort of, like, meandering. Okay. I will share the information um, about the uh, torch. Um, probably everything shy of Reinforced Goddess Blythe. I think I'm going to keep that close to my chest. And I would like to go look at the torch. The Wavering Torch. Sure. Sure. 
Exactly. I mean, we, I guess we, we can... We got time, right? I mean, I guess you're not... He literally can... is still, like, 10 a.m. <laughs> and then, I got some new moves, so... Ooh. I should probably practice. <laughs> and, I mean, I guess we can literally just walk up the obelisk, so we can get a pretty good look at this. They, is this like the Washington Monument? Does it have stairs? You don't know. Let's go check it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um. So you head towards the torch, which is um down. It's in uptown. Um. It is. Uh, it's you're walking. For, if you're walking from the sand markets, it's like on the east side of Wheatson. Um. And why don't you? So give me investigation checks or or perception or whatever you do as you're walking around this obelisk. Wrote so many ones. Oh. Rabble is very unobservant. Four. Sierra, do you want to roll? Seventeen. Perfect. Um, Sierra is the only one with the heart in it in yeah. this situation. She's really the only one that really has the gumption to care. Uh, as you search uh, the base of this towering obelisk, you you don't seem to find any entrance to this tower. Um, the tower is probably a hundred feet, maybe a little bit higher up in the air. Um, and you, it looks old, but, uh, but the red stone is smooth and, you know, um, uh, there's barely any cracks. No inscriptions. So... Mm -mm. And with your perception check, um, you notice a desert wind kind of flows a little bit and you see it blow a little small sand dune uh away from the bottom of the tower and that kind of as you does you notice a tiny little glimmer in the sand that kind of falls to the ground and you also notice a hole in the tower probably the size of a tennis ball i'm gonna go with the glimmer okay give me a little give me a perception check with advantage because you know what you're looking for do I see any, uh, any, like, uh, conservers, like, patrolling the area? There are, but it, this isn't uncommon for people to just check out the tower. That, that, you can tell. It, people aren't, like... Like, no one's still walking for, like, what are you doing? Yeah. No. Okay. I got a natural 20. Wow! 25. Ooh. Whoa! Okay, so you see... Alright, this is getting fucked. <laughs> so, you crouch down, and where the little glimmer of light landed, and you see... A very, very tiny pair of spectacles. Uh, these eyeglasses uh, could be for a small doll. It's, they're very small. And just as you're crouching down, because you've been at 20, just as you're crouching down, uh, you see a little sand lizard peek its head out of the newly formed little sand dune near the hole in the tower. <laughs> uh, it looks at it and it kind of it's it uh looks at you with its head poked out of the dune um but it lingers on Sira a little longer um and it scurries out of the sand uh it runs toward the small spectacles as you're crouching down looking at these and it gets up on its hind legs and it makes a gesture uh as if to say no no not for you and it picks up the eyeglasses and puts them on uh can I please hand it a leaf to clean them? Yes, you can. Uh, they take it and they go... <laughs> and they put the spectacles on. <laughs> and this lizard doesn't run away. Um, in fact, it looks at you a little bit longer. And it seems to have a little bit more clarity now that it has its glasses on. Um, it hops on your legs and climbs up your body. Uh, Steamy lights at nights. And it perches on your shoulder and gets real close to your ear, your weird Salomar ears. And you hear in broken Salomar, um, help, you help us, trusted companion, wild keeper. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> I think also just to hear her own language. Mm -hmm. oh. um, and so this lizard, uh, scurries down your body once more and it, and it kind of waits for your uh i get really as small as i possibly can physically just bringing in my tail and my little and then i'm like yes what do you need in salamar okay 
Uh, I was it. about to chastise all of you guys for being like, I can't on, speak every lizard, lizard yes, language. Hold on. I got to so, lift the hammer and start slowly walking towards the lizard. <laughs> friendly lizard. Sierra, you, you see that gravel is starting to use. Yeah, and I immediately pull out the push the button, push the little knot on my glaive and <laughs> glare at you. I will kill for this lizard. Okay, he's a friend. I didn't know. I thought he was attacking your head earlier. Um, he'll get close to your face and say, inside. Inside. How do I get inside? Help. Uh, permission? Okay. Yeah. Uh, he Shut will... <laughs> uh, as he does, he kind of backs up a little bit, his little lizard body, and he starts to kind of run in a circle, uh, kind of picking up sand and creating, like, a small, like, sand tornado. And you see that within this sand tornado, it reaches up on its high, it, it gets up on its hind legs and it reaches its webby hands up in the air. Uh, and you all start to notice sand is starting to swirl around your legs and up your body. Um, up and up and up. And your body starts to feel like they're being manipulated. Oh no. Um, they tug at your shoulders and your hips. All right. I... And. The tower in front of you gets bigger and bigger and taller and I taller. I should have killed the lizard. <laughs> and suddenly, the lizard in front of you is humanoid size. And you're looking around and you're hearing loud stomping, loud noises. There's a lot. Everything is... You are small now. You are tiny little guys. <laughs> I have never been happier about a roll. I know you guys are that. It's not. It's ecstatic, but I am fully yeah, in it. Yeah, how are you all reacting without having um, Sierra really sharing? <laughs> how would you make the world bigger? Uh, the the lizard. So um, you can see as uh, you can see its green and orange yellow scales very clearly now. It has really bulbous red eyes. Um, and they kind of blink behind their spectacles and, uh, they kind of slowly approach the board of you, kind of like trying to make sure that, you know, it's, they're not trying to hurt you or anything. Um, and in, in fact, you, as you can see this lizard now up close, uh, you notice its glasses are kind of a, a tinted purple and look a little bit more like crystal, um, than glass. And it reaches out a webbing hand, a webby, another webby hand. It points to the hole. And this time, you can all hear it speak, but you don't, you only see it can understand. And uh, it says, Wildkeeper, inside, more to explain. Inside? And then they point to themselves and they say, Zikoa. Oh, that's so cute. Yes, I wow. rather like your glasses. What? Blink, blink. <laughs> I mean, we're already small. <laughs> Come on. Would you like to trade? But <laughs> blink, blink. What are you getting us into? Yeah. You... What? What's? What's the meaning of all this? Uh, I guess. Did I? I did explain a little bit about the. Yeah. You yeah, but know. like not the shrinking and talking about this. You the... should know. Well, okay. He's so this only is a friend. Speaks... A... Yeah, and he needs help. Yes, I feel like we were. And all what do we do except help? Without, and now uh... we're small. I didn't know this was it. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that part, but I trust him otherwise. Come on, we're small. Well, I want what to else do we have to do? I want to get inside because of all these stomping feet. It's yeah, great. it's... That it's seems dangerous. All right. Also, he's wearing spectacles. Blink, blink. <laughs> and he, like, okay, I'm wearing, the I'm wearing spectacles. Eye. Does that make me trustworthy? You wear a wit what? I'm wearing spectacles. Does that make me trustworthy? I've hung out with you this far, haven't I? All right, fine. <laughs> Question asked and answered. Side quest. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, you head into the hole of the tower. Um, and an inc uh, incredible scene uh, unveils before you. Uh, it's a storied city within this tower. Um, there are cranes um, lifting and lowering crates with what would be tiny creatures inside. They're mainly lizards and mice. Um, vines and other shrubbery are growing, weaving in between like shops and residences made out of all sorts of like found objects uh, that scale like the sides of the t this huge tower, like it's a city. Uh, and you're at the very bottom level. Um, Creatures scurry by, barely taking notice. 
of USA, you know, got their days ahead of them. Um, and Zakoa leads you to an open crate uh, and gestures for you to get inside. Fine. I, <laughs> I mean, I I'd also, I just want it to be known that um, things like potions and alcohol last twice as long on lizards like me. So I've been <laughs> on Wasted body weed blasted. for oh. hours and it lasts for hours more. So this is a wild experience. <laughs> you have to understand this is everything I've ever dreamed of as a player. <laughs> uh, yeah, Zakoa leads you into the crate and starts to lift you up using a pulley. And I think that's where we'll end this. Oh. Ah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, fun times ahead. We um, we're gonna be doing our first talk back episode. Um, we'll be filming it on April. Early April. Early 12th. April. Yeah, April twelfth, and then I think we'll be releasing it that Friday night. So that'll be that'll consist of all the players. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about like character backgrounds and like you know like character the visions, the world. We'll talk about the campaign setting a little bit more. Which, by the way, I'll I'll go ahead and thank uh, Chris Messon and uh, Warchief Gaming for the uh, campaign setting of Ouroboros: Coils of the Serpent. Um, thank you to Lars Van Sant for all the character art, and thank you all you lovely people for watching our next episode will s drop sometime in april check to technerd.com yeah just check out all of our social medias uh tech nerd we have an instagram facebook anything you want to look at we've got it all steamy nights steamy, steamy nights, nights. <laughs> thank you